Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. And we've got Erlen back. Hey guys. And I'm James. And we're going to play some video games, some new games on classic consoles. That's as right. per usual on the show. And it is a Wednesday today. Middle of the week. Welcome, everybody. Somebody got a haircut? Did you get a haircut? No, I didn't, but... Uh, well, maybe they haven't seen you in, in a little, in a while. little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's just it's a good hair day, I think, guys. <laughs> also, I'm noticing something new in the chat. There's a Z by oh. some people's names. What does this Z stand for? This yes, is badass. Yes, I did that for last episode. Um, in the chat, in, in Twitch, you can assign special graphics for people. Yeah. Depending on how long that they have subscribed for. So you can give a different graphic for a three-month subscription or a six-month subscription. Ooh. And actually, that golden Z is a six-month badge. Oh, my God. See. And he's almost to the nine-month badge. Nobody has a nine-month well, yet. We so Ground Trooper close. and Mr. Fix so far have some Zs. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, they're both at eight. Wow. I suppose is there, too. Yeah, he's got he's a seven. Z. Yeah. So That's cool to see. I, I love I love that so much. Just looking <laughs> at the chat, there's these like golden Zs. And then uh, uh, ZPH is for uh, <laughs> this is a you three subscribe months. to yourself. Yeah, uh, I think it's automatic that I subscribe to myself. Maybe I have it on renewal because uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I guess I subscribe to myself. Well, it must it must just pop up because you're the person who created I it. I Think so. I never um. actually physically subscribe to myself. But I so. am on the list every time. I, I just guess delete so. myself off the list. Yeah. Because I don't want to be subscribed to myself. Um, so welcome to all the people in the chat and people out there watching now and YouTube later. But the people in chat are Mr. Fix, Ground Trooper, Thrust26, Carl G, M.U. Dan. Wow. Uh, Militant Buddhist, Buddhist One. That's my kind of guy right there. <laughs> Militant Buddhist. I don't know. That's, that's such a great name. It that, is. I feel like that you just cut straight to my heart. <laughs> Uh, Jared Gray West, uh, I supposed to I say that already, and that's it for people who are chatting, lots of people, and, uh, we've got the subscribers, as we are just mentioning, um, let me just bring mine up, Gre oh, is this up to date? Let me just, no, my list is not oh, up to date, no. I'm gonna read it off there, off the screen that you guys can see. Uh, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice, Bosta, Johnny, WC23, Mr. Fix, RC7E, Spiceware, S. Ramirez2008, and Tiki Dan K. And you can subscribe to for free if you have Amazon Prime and you link it to Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And, it's uh, all connected. It is. Oh, oh Amazon, circle. man. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit scary to think that Amazon is going to potentially become the hub of a lot of things. It already is. It like, is. It's... Um, they're also the hub of all of our data, too. They wow. um, have... Um, Twitch they, data? Or... Uh, just in general. Hmm. of They have Amazon servers everywhere. That that's that's where they make most of their money actually really? is off these servers hosting data and I mean, hosting that's... streaming data all over. Yeah, I mean talk about I mean big data is is like a huge huge part of the world right now that nobody really um, gets inside and it's crazy because no. to get those the big data numbers you have to spend some serious money. Mm -hmm. I just listened to I just went to a talk with this Cambridge Analytica whistleblower. I won't get into any of that, but that was <laughs> amazing. Is really Eye interesting. Opening. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I knew about all that stuff, but hearing him talk and seeing him in person was pretty interesting. Cause, um, and he talked a lot about Amazon yes. and just this, just how much um, a lot of our um, uh, services are being kind of really funneled into. Um, a singular entity, which is a new thing that we're dealing with. So, thanks Amazon for hosting <laughs> our show. Yeah, yeah, yeah we we true. wouldn't be here without Amazon. That's it's right. crazy, man. Yeah, they own Twitch, so yep. there you go. <laughs> I, so I, I there's only so much I could talk about Amazon. <laughs> given <laughs> no, pissing off the overlords, um, and I wanted to say thank you everyone out there who's been enjoying what we've been doing for oh, the past God. year or so. Um, just want to rattle off some numbers here. Um, 176 followers on Twitch. Wow. That get alerted every time we go online. Uh, 249 followers on YouTube that are alerted every time we put up a new uh, archived video of this. And 427 followers on Facebook. Really? Which is great. So every time I post about a show, they get to see it. 
And I think that's pretty amazing numbers for such a niche, niche of a niche. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like it's old school gaming, specifically Atari 2600, and then specifically homebrew. It's like the niche of the niche of the niche of the niche. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's just amazing to even have those numbers. And they just keep climbing and climbing all the time. I feel so lucky that um, I get to do this show because I've been doing research on different streamers and what different people do. And one of the overwhelming complaints that streamers seem to have is that they end up playing one game they so do. much that they start hating it. But yeah. but their entire income is related to making to playing that game, and I feel so blessed because you know, on Zero Page we have new stuff every Four time, a day. right? So there's no <laughs> it's impossible for us to really like um, uh, ever be bored because there's something oh new God. each time. No, and, we can't. And they're also they're they're so creative and different. I'm super into it. Yeah, I feel imagine so... playing Fortnite for years. Yes. Like, how do you come up? And these people play like. Eight to twelve hours a day, Correct. every day. Yep. How do you how do you even come up with new things to say? They have to, oh, they'd be so bored, and and they'd have to be pretend to be excited about it too. We're gonna play Fortnite again. Woo! It's like, uh, are you really that excited about playing Fortnite again? I guess yeah. if your salary depends on it, you are you pretty to, man. pretty excited about it. And it's a weird position, I imagine, being in where you're making all this money doing something that was once your dream has yeah. now become a reality and is now kind of something that is just, you know, a job. And It is a, definitely a job to them, yeah. Totally, and you think about um, YouTubers, it can be the same. So I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like, man, I feel so lucky that, 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 that this community is so awesome, but also yeah. that, like, there's so much creativity amongst the people in... Uh, and there's and we get the whole range of genres, the whole range of like works in progress. Yeah. Like it's a very cool show, man. Yeah, and I, and I think because there's no, there's not a lot of very little zero to very little money involved in this whole community. Yeah, there's not that pressure. There's there's more fun associated with it. Everybody's a lot more open. Um, I'm for sure gonna watch Avengers. I don't know if James is. <laughs> I just don't care. I'm super into <laughs> it, man. I've, I've seen burnt all out the... on superhero films. A I've long seen time all ago. those movies. Yeah. The only one I haven't seen is Thor: The Dark World. Okay. Um, and I haven't seen the new um, uh, Captain Marvel. But I mean, like, to me, the reason why I haven't watched Captain Marvel is it's like it's like we're about to zone in on the Death Star, and it's like <laughs> pause. Do you want to know the backstory of all of that? I'm like, no, I want to attack the Death Star. Because, you know, uh, spoilers, Thanos did a little thing. And yeah. now, so any, I'm very, I'm very stoked on it. And it's also going to be the end of the, the era of that's those movies. That's where it movies. stops. Like, that's yeah. the end. And it's because of all the contracts, like um, all oh, of these guys, because yeah. Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, all these people are Been around for a long time in oh, the yeah. universe, and they're like done. <laughs> and I tell you, man, like Can I move on. Right. There is a serious issue with having to maintain a bodybuilder image in your forties for like a decade. Yeah. Like, because I'm um, someone like Chris Evans, man, that dude only eats chicken <laughs> and broccoli that's boiled, wow. and that's their life. That's how any yeah. um, actor is. They totally. gain weight, they lose weight, they bulk up muscle. It's, it's, it's the life they've chosen, uh, to be a very physical and emotional type of life. Correct. Um, so I, but having a very specific type. To, for a very long yeah. time, it'd be very difficult. So, so what that means that's cool is it just means that there, there, there is an end because these guys yes. can't do it forever. And it's probably good for them too. It's oh, like, yeah. okay, this is it. this chapter is over. <laughs> a can, decade of I can move on with my life and do other things, and and oh. they're probably already worried about being pigeonholed. Some totally. of them, I'm sure, like Robert Downey Jr. He's, oh, he's, he's fine. He's done lots of stuff, but some of them are like, this is the only role I've ever had in my life. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth, the Thor guy. I mean, yeah. what is he's He's going to really struggle to have a career. Um, yeah. But, it's you like, know. Oh, we want you to play this superhero type. Yeah. It's like, oh, please, can I do something else? I can. But, you know, independent uh, filmmakers can snatch those people up. And use them for it's whatever. Like, oh, you want to break out? Well, we've got a comedy here for you. Hell oh, yeah. We've got a super dramatic role here for you. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> I, d I do think personally that I will be done, though, after this one. You yeah. know, I do think that it'll be... What about the Joker movie? The Joker movie... That looks good. I'm excited about the Joker movie. That's one I am stoked on. I'll watch that. But uh, but what I mean is with these the kind of Marvel Avengers world, yeah. I 
do think this will be a real ending of a of an era for me personally. Right. Um. But we, and I have grown up with these movies, so yeah. it's nice to have an end. But I do think that's they're gonna start a new thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch them, but I won't be as excited. Like I'm stoked on this new one because it's mm. just it does feel like it's nice to have an ending to something, right? It's like those TV shows, sitcoms that just go on forever. Like <laughs> yes. at a certain point, you just stop watching because you're like, yeah, I just don't. Say I'm done with it. Well, yeah. Like, so there's nothing new coming out of this. Yeah. So it's so it is nice to have just like a like a moment in time which is is an end. I did watch that British TV show, <laughs> The Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a I watched a a, t a movie called The Avengers. Yeah. Which is a terrible film. It might have been the same franchise. It might it was based off of the franchise. Yeah, yeah. Um so I did some surgery on my uh oh. Atari twenty six hundred, my uh light sixer there. Yeah. Um in between last show and this show. Um it was to fix an issue uh with certain games that weren't that wouldn't boot, no matter what, no matter what I did. Yeah. And they would boot on other systems. And uh, one of them was Stay Frosty 2, one was Toy Shop Trouble. And there was an old school game that also didn't work on uh, Heavy Sixers and Light Sixers, most of them, uh, called River Raid 2. Um, so I uh, did some, I did a hardware fix on it, uh, opened it up, did a terrible solder job. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I don't know how to solder at all. Um, because Albert uh, from Atari Age posted the pictures on how to do it in the forums. And uh, so I was able to do it. And it successfully worked. I didn't fry my 2600. Yay! Oh, man. What? Yeah, that was... Uh, the stakes were high, I suspect, when you're well, in there. Not too... It was just bridging one thing to another. So it wasn't too high. It yeah. wasn't like cutting wires and doing 20 connections and putting in capacitors. It was just bridging something. Was... And um, I was hoping it would fix my Uno troubles, my Uno cart issues, but it didn't, unfortunately. Oh, no. So um, I'm working again with one of the developers of the Uno cart, and we're moving forward, doing some more troubleshooting. Cool. Because they know that other people might have this issue with Uno carts. Is it specific to your... Um, uh... Your hardware, do you think, or is this... We I mean, don't know yet. <laughs> I mean, it is a vintage uh, uh, process, right? Yeah. I mean, I've modded it with an RGB output. Yeah. Video output. So, so we can we do don't... this show. <laughs> yeah, so we can do the show in high quality. <laughs> but I don't know if it's related to that or if it's related to certain six switchers because not yeah. a lot of people have Uno carts yet. So it's up in the air. No, it didn't fix Uno. Yeah. But it did fix for Stay Frosty 2 yeah, and it... Toy Shop Trouble and maybe some other things in the future. Okay, cool. Which is good. Um, and I've been uh, pursuing my Activision patch challenge. Ooh, I don't know oh, if I yeah. talked about that last time. You did, time. and I remember I saw a post on Facebook about it. Yeah, so I played Spider Fighter, um, just a one-off show. Well, not a one-off show, but uh, un unannounced unplanned show just the other night and i got very close to getting the patch for spider fighter yeah um within four thousand of forty thousand total um so that is something that i will could be continuing to do <laughs> and i think there's about 40 patches to earn so it's like a sub category of zero page it's not you know it's zero page homebrew it's just zero page because that's not a homebrew game um so i'll uh i've got a list of the games that I'll be going for patches first, and I'll keep adding to those as I pass them. So probably this the next uh, episode of the Activision patch episodes. Yeah, I'll I'll be able to get that for sure. The patch for that, I think. Well, that's the fun of this, though, right? Is you just don't know, like, uh, yeah. Some sometimes some games are gonna take Easy. a few times. Some yeah. will, you'll be able to do in one, and I mean, all <laughs> games have a level of luck and skill. Um, yes. Some more on one than the other, but yeah. it'll be. It's cool to see that this you're fighting for the high level of skill. It's this a one? very Ooh. frantic game. It's crazy. Uh, Mu Dan says he managed to get ninety three thousand yesterday on Spider Fighter. Is that good? Uh, which setting did you get it on? A or B? Oh. Because in the manual it's backwards. Really? So I I only discovered this halfway through, play like an hour into playing the game, I discovered I was in the wrong setting. Because I'd got 66,000 on the A setting, which is actually 
the difficult setting, but you get higher scores on the difficult setting. Interesting. And you get lower score. B, wow, that's amazing. That's really good. So B is the one that you're supposed to... Yeah, B is the one I'm supposed to get it on. I got 36,000 something something. And he got 93,000, which is possible. It's just, it's challenging. It's really it frantic tells, and hard. That just tells you the... The scale we have in our audience, right? Oh my God! Well, these are the best of the best. These are the, <clears throat> you know, the high scores, the the top of the world. Some of these people have the top scores in the world. Um, Nathan Strom says my sixer is a bit fussy too. My harmony doesn't work unless my Atari Vox is plugged in. Wow! I think it needs a new Riot chip. It's had so much surgery over the years; it needs its own medical insurance. <laughs> oh my oh, God! No. That's funny. Yeah, sixty six on A is definitely deserving a patch. Yeah, it was a very good run for that for that game, but it doesn't technically deserve a patch. That's one thing in I Canada. Have to, we, I have to earn it. One thing that's nice in Canada is we don't have to stress out so much about medical insurance. Oh my god. It's no. one of the beautiful things about being from the north. <laughs> don't it's, brag. Yeah. I don't want to brag, but I'm just saying it's it part of it. It's our, one less thing you have to be stressed about what, in, in life. And I just think about it because like in there is a, is it almost a, a joke, right? It's a tell. That, that doesn't actually necessarily work as good for Canadians because for us yes. we're like, ah, we could. We're like, what? You know, <laughs> what does that mean? The government <laughs> won't pay for our animals, <laughs> but that's yes. about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> that tells you what it's like. P pet insurance is very expensive because they do get sick. Yeah. Um. So, uh, does anybody out there have patches, yeah. like the physical patches, or have you have you done that challenge to yourself with even without the patches? Like, oh, I want to try and get yeah, because you're patch gonna um, you're gonna buy the patch, but only after you earn it. Yeah, you, you can't go to you know Activision anymore; it's not a thing. No. But you'll definitely be able to get the patch. Yeah, when I'm at uh, conventions, can, at the uh, video game conventions, if I run across them and I go, oh, I've earned that patch. Thing. I can now buy that. Ooh, and that'll be a sweet moment. It will be. To throw over those dollars and pick yeah. up a patch. But and... Right now I only have one I can but buy. That's... And it's an unfortunately a very, very expensive patch. Ooh. So I probably won't buy it. It's like a $200 patch. Oh. Just to have a patch. Oh, Mr. Fix has a Star Master patch. Excellent. See, well, maybe someone you know, in the community might send you a patch. Uh -huh. No, I don't think so. That there's, would be no, nice. there's, there's no expectation for no, that. No, that would be... That would be nice. Uh, earned that long ago. Uh, Nathan Strum has a Gravatar patch from the Atari magazine. Uh, no relation to the website. Yeah, wow. It's where they got their name from, but it's nothing to do with the website. Uh, what a cool I still thing. have my three from back then. Oh, Arena Foot. So there's some people who have. You know, when you play like on Xbox or like PlayStation. <laughs> get virtual or patches, Steam, don't you? Yeah, you get like achievements, but they're kind of like, oh, I have a, I got a hundred points for. Oh, <laughs> I died five times. I got a patch. Yeah, you know, okay. I managed to get twenty five headshots. <laughs> I got a patch. Like this, yeah. it's so absurd. Versus this is so much cooler. <laughs> yeah, you get physical patches. Okay. So we have four games today. The first one, uh, oh, actually, I didn't even announce them. Um, mm. First one, Space Mad Splorf. Um, and this is uh, somewhat of a premiere. Not really, because I missed up Ooh. the timing, but I'll get into that. <clears throat> but it is, it'll be the first time anybody streamed it on the internet. Um, and then we're going to play Spies in the Night 2, Work in Progress Update. I think I remember playing that yes. once. That was a very yep. cool game. It was a while back, but a lot of updates have happened. Damn. Very cool. I enjoyed that one. That's, I'm excited oh, for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lunokhod. Oh, it's, it's a Russian word, so I'm messing it up. Oh. Lunokhod? I don't know. Lunokhod 1. I've been immersed uh, in, in the Russians this, this oh, last couple been? of weeks, oh. so I'm excited to dive in. I've been... <laughs> listening to Russian chess players talk and all, oh, and, the, and wow. Russian fitness people and stuff. It's been like this weird little rabbit hole I felt like. Just, I'm stoked that we get to play some Russian... Yeah, Russian-influenced game. Yeah. Uh, and Incoming by Ben Larson. So uh, that's an old one. Lunokhod is an old one. But still technically work in progress. But we'll get to that. Uh, so the first one up is Spaceman Splorf. Wow. Uh, by Pond Software. Uh, specifically released by Pond Software and uh, made by Andreas Gustafsson and Vanya Utne, it Utne uh, aka SDW and Mermaid on the Atari Age oh, forums. Oh, cool. So let's switch that over. Get that up and going. And yep. Go for it. Which one? Bottom one? I know it does sound like Spaceman Spiff from Calvin and Hobbes. Yes, today is the... Oh, go down one. Oh, is it 
Did I mess it up? Go to the 15th? Let's see. Yeah, I messed yeah. it up. Oh, it's, it's the 17th good. today. Spaceman, that that's the first one? Yes. Cool. Okay. Let's find out. Let's dive in. Oh, this already looks cool. So don't press anything yet. I'm super into this. <clears throat> so I've, I'm starting to learn like the Batari basics <laughs> screens and this is not this no. seems like its own thing which is pretty cool definitely I believe this guy did uh, his own programming it's, it's always a, a little bit special when you see a title screen that's been originally produced not yeah. there's anything wrong with Batari basic screens but I'm no. starting to see like oh the that difference. was yeah, yeah and it's always it's, it has a little bit of a splash and I, I think love... this could have been made by it but I don't think it was was. I think this was done by assembly. Yeah, and whether it is or isn't, if it has the effect of feeling like it's from a template or an effect like it's a, its own thing, yeah, it's better to have the effect. Oh, and uh, Thrust uh, Thomas brings up that they are both famous in the demo scene, oh. and that is correct. What's the demo scene? Um, demos are kind of non-interactive. Oh yeah, I remember um, on like the. Uh, programs like you can't you can't play them. They're more like a movie. They're, mm -hmm. they're scripted. They every time you turn them on, they do the same thing every time. Wasn't there... but they're highly they push the limits of the system quite a bit. And we did it on um, we had on an the award, award show yeah. for the best demo. And um, SDW has released a lot of demos, like a lot, uh, 90, 90 different demos. Wow. Um, and for a lot of various systems, not, and he's done seven for VCS and actually pretty famous ones as well. Um, oh, the dude. ones he's done for, yes, nice reference to Ocean. I'll get that in, to that as well. Okay, cool. Welcome to 10 k 360. Uh, the ones he, the demos he's done is the, is, uh, Egypt 2600 BC, which is brilliant looking. Uh, Mr. Caterpillar and the Tale of the Turquoise Twisters by Genesis Project. I have not seen that one. Uh, Liquid Candy by Noyce, uh, I've seen that one. Sfera Stellarum by Noyce, I haven't seen that one. Uh, SV2K11 In Vitro by Noyce, and Mystic Bites. Uh, Silly Filler by Noyce, and Noyce uh, Pound 2600 by Noyce. Uh, and he did all the code for that, for all those. And they are like really, really brilliant. Um, so he's done. He did the code for this game. Um, it was this. This game was first posted about uh, August twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen, and this build was passed to me on April second, two thousand nineteen. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's play some. Play, play some of it while, while I okay, talk cool. about a million oh, things on, to do with on, this. Oh, hold on, hold on, shit. There we go. <laughs> I knew that was gonna. This happen. is Flappy Bird type. Yeah, I, I, I. Uh... I wouldn't say that I'm amazing at this kind of game, <laughs> but I understand the concept now. I won't die within two seconds. And Thrust says, next week is revision. There's, there's a helicopter game that's very, you know what I mean? Has anyone yes. played that? Uh, ah, yeah, see. there is a 1K helicopter game for the 2600 that we did play. Yeah, that's like, I, at least I know for like, there's like an old Flash game that used to be oh, like, there's tons of that's like, of games. and the yeah. helicopter music. Like, pff, sound. Uh, and Thrust has next weekend is revision move, the biggest up or down. yeah the biggest uh, demo scene party in the world is next weekend. Um, yes. Whoa. In the whoa, ocean. Whoa. whoa. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. their uh, company oh, name Pond okay. Software is an homage to the now defunct company Ocean Software. Uh, ocean Software, commonly referred to as Ocean, was a British software development company that became one of big. Biggest, the biggest European video game developers in the 80s and 90s. Okay, I'm so much more into being in space than in some random helicopter in like a <laughs> cave. You know what I mean? Yes. So much cooler. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm so, I'm like Sandra Bullock, just, <laughs> just floating around, just floating, trying to grab onto garbage of an exploded ah! spaceship. Yes, it's a one button, uh, just a one Definitely. button game. It's cool though. I like. I mean, the simplicity of a one button game is great, and um, I like that there's different sizes of debris. Some are going faster, some are going slower, some are kind of moving. See, like some are moving towards me. Yep. And um, and there's um, a three. Ah, I'm an idiot. A three D ishness to the rocks. Yeah. If you kind of like squint your eyes, or if it was probably on a CRT, would be a better right. uh, look for it. And the stars like ripping towards us is really yep. cool. 
And uh, they did a very clever... Whoa. Uh, I, I find this with um, people from the demo scene when they make video games. They're really... They do some really oh. clever stuff. And if you look, the stars are in between the rocks. They're not at the same place as the rocks, even though it's filling the screen with it. That's amazing. I love that some are zipping faster. It really gives a feeling of movement, right? It's parallaxing. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a big deal. And then All also... The rocks are different movements. The, the stars are different movements. We'll call them debris. The stars are not going to be moving that fast. This ever. is um, <laughs> brilliant. Um, it would be, be cool for people in the homebrew scene to look at, actually. There's this brilliant film about... Um, uh, uh, Walt Disney designing a three-plane camera for Bambi, and it explains how he kind of reverse engineered dealing with movement and having objects that are closer to the frame moving faster than ones that are farther away. Yeah, I've and, seen that and it's, video. It's, it's really good. And it's fascinating because it's like there's there's an element of that in play where we have the objects that are closer moving slower than the ones, mm -hmm. or moving faster, sorry. But it's a bit funky because some things are speeding fast. But it's so interesting, like the trying those primitive sort of dealing with how do we take these two-dimensional images and make them seem 3D. Yes. Um, so this is a complete game. This is the um, this is the full release, this version, that we're playing right now. It is being released officially today. Um, so uh, ah. this is for sale on the, the Pack, Rat, Pack Rat video game website. Um, so if you want it, if you like the look of it, you can head ah, over there. Ah, ah. Um, and Thank you to uh, David Fleming of Packrat for providing this uh, final uh, bin of the game to us for playing and showing off. Um, and thanks to ArenaFoot for passing on uh, the information to me about that. Yes, it goes on sale today at Packrat Video Games website. Um, and it was actually shown a couple of days ago oh. at the Midwest, for the first time at Midwest Gaming Classic, uh, April 12th to 14th in Milwaukee. Um, it was available there in the limited boxed edition for 40 US and the rest of the limited boxed edition uh, is for sale today in NTSC or PAL. There's only a hundred limited boxed versions of it and once that's sold it won't be made again in boxed it'll just be on cartridge uh, with the cartridge and instructions so if you want to get it in a box you need to get it now. And forty dollars US for a box version is actually a really good price. Um, normally they are fifty, fifty-five usually around that, even sixty, and other systems like seventy. But uh, forty is not bad, actually. Uh, let's see. It comes with a box, game cartridge, instructions, two Splorf art cards. Whoa, what's that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I right? want to know what the Splorf art card it's is. Just little cards with, I guess, the box art on it, or maybe an additional uh, graphics on it. That's cool. Yeah, it does have a high score on the menu screen, oh, so God. we're doing pretty good this time. Yeah, well, I, ha I want to break 2,000. Oh, oh, so close. See, 1,500 is... At oh, best I've done is 17, yeah. But your personal goal is 2,000. I'd like to see if I can do 2,000, yeah. because um, that seems like a milestone that I haven't been able to beat. <laughs> yes. I'm getting better, though. Uh, so the the story is, you are Splorf. Yeah, Splorf. <laughs> Space Corps. Sanitation Engineer, 5th Class, Lavatorial Division. Oh. Sounds very reminiscent of Red Dwarf. It's great, though. Who, uh, yeah, they were 4th? Fourth? 4th fourth and 3rd? I can't remember. Uh, small yet vital cog in the corporate machine. That's right. You're good at your job. The oh, rumors have reached even the lowest level of methane station. The harvest ships have brought disastrous news concerning the defense systems, protecting Space Corps' interests from space pirates and fierce competitors. God damn it. You there, a middle manager shouts at you. Commander Splix needs a volunteer. Get your lazy plarp up to level 17 immediately. The rumors were true. Exploding gasteroids have damaged the disintegration fence above Planet Doom. And Commander Splix wants you to fix it. Repairman Splorf to the rescue. Working quickly to fix the damage generation shield no. generator. Oh, so close. See, I just... Oh, did better. 
uh, of the planet below, you suddenly see your company issued spanner drifting off towards the planet. Oh. Using your jetpack, you desperately follow the spanner into a particularly pungent gasteroid field. Just as now, just as the now fully operational disintegration fence above you turns back on. So there's a disintegration fence above you. That's why if you run into it, you get destroyed. Man. And I guess those are the, the Space terrible is gas a, fields is a below tough you. place to try to survive in, man. Uh, send the order in, uh, Milton Boost. Uh, oh, thank you, Arena oh. Foot. Oh, Arena Foot got 1982, so you gotta beat that at least. Ah, oh, Arena. <laughs> Damn. Okay, He's, 1800 is the, is the best that I've been able to do. Um, it's it's definitely uh, it's, it's definitely a hard game, but I guarantee you there are people out there. Who can crush this stuff? Because like, if you are, are used to playing like, oh. yep. so uh, SDW posted in 2016. A while ago, I programmed a game for C64 called Spaceman Splorf. So this is actually a port of a Commodore 64 game with graphics and music by Vanya Utne. Uh, just for fun, we're working on creating a version for the Atari 2600. We have tried to recreate the gameplay and graphics experience as close to the original as you can come on the 2600, and they did a really good job of doing it. It's kind of a neat project. I guess this is what VCS coders way back had to deal with in many instances. Trying to recreate something for a far more advanced system within the constraints of the VCS no! 2600 hardware. Oh, so close! Oh, it was just, it was, I, I was in a rock, between a rock and a hard place. It's like, keep, I keep getting into positions where I'm just in the wrong spot around that uh, point. And they posted a preview video in 2016, which looks remarkably like this. I don't think they've changed anything. <laughs> so it's been two years since they posted their initial video of pretty much a complete game. They may have done some refinements, so I'd, uh, I'm not sure what the... Um, what happened between 2016 and 2019? Um, I guess it was two and a half years. No. But, uh, Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Get some strategy? No, it's just a couple, like, situations <laughs> that I would have died before and I managed to sort of, like, stay alive in. Like, see here, hard choice, gotta duck yeah. down, gotta keep, Sometimes you, know. you put yourself into a place that you just... Oh, see? Oh. Because in order to get over that guy, I needed to... So, 1882. Oh, I want to break 2000. <laughs> this is James comes in <laughs> crushes. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. There's a bit of luck to this because you move into a position and there's three rocks that come at you. Well, yeah, that's... And then you're like, well, I can't... And they're all in a row. They're yeah. like a wall of rocks. Luckily, there's been times where I, like, would have died earlier, but, like... Doing okay. See, see yeah, here you go. Like, oh, see, skill is much <laughs> higher than mine. Clearly, god damn. There's only one strategy I know in this one is I like, keep low because you can go up faster than you can go down. I would say the opposite. Damn Be it! Because like Did the you? No, no, you did. You were very close. 1874. Though. Because I find when it, when you go up, it's hard to like pull pull back, right? Yeah. Many times I've gone oh. up and like killed myself because I'll hold it down just well, enough that's... to. That's, yeah, you have to... Because you got to know how much thrust you've got. Yeah, you can't give too much. Uh, See, I don't like being up that that's high. That's not bad. Yeah. It's some it's some rough situations, though, man. It is. See, I was forced all the way up, and if another one came along, it's done. Oh, so you got this. I think you'll break 2,000. Oh, my God. Yeah, there you go. You're good. Yeah. Oh, now it's, now it's much harder. Uh, I don't think it really increases in hardness. What just sped up a bit? Did it? Just a little bit. Okay. I don't know if there's any, like, there's no instructions past that. I don't think it gets, there's no levels. Oh. Yeah, you'll, you'll, wow. Much better. <laughs> Much better. That's definitely my best score so far. Ooh, you guys sell Odyssey games. Well, we don't sell anything. <laughs> yeah, we just pack rat cells. Good them. music, yeah, for sure. There's oh some my great God, music yeah. in this game. And that's what you get um, when you're coming from the demo scene. Their music is top notch. Their graphics are top notch. Um, their it's animation like... is top notch. So you can, I, I love 
games when they come from the demo scene because they're like, whoa, okay, they get well, creative. Well, anyone who's had to be really specific about something, when they have to do something that's more general, it's always a little bit better. Because yeah. if you zone in on, on, like, if you make, like, 10 seconds of something that's amazing, that'll really <laughs> take you somewhere. Yes. And, and you look just at the coloration on the rocks themselves. It's like, would you ever think to put purples and greens and blues on um, asteroids? And then the wave at the no. bottom that just, you know, it's like yeah. a, a little, a little sine wave that oh. just goes 23. That's good, and, man. Yeah, that's a very uh, demo thing to put is, oh yeah, the rocks are pretty slow at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and it, around 2000, it sped up just yeah. a bit. It wasn't a lot, like a lot. I love that there's different sized rocks too, mm. and some are moving quicker some are moving slower yeah, so you can variety. you can find yourself in situations that are like really rough or really easy depending on like how things go which is nice because if you get like a, a like that one had the whole screen was almost covered in rocks right yeah now we're you're totally yeah. fine because you got a little like window but it's crazy yeah because the rocks are kind of reflecting the green from the bottom of the screen almost on their on their surface yeah Oh. Well, see, man, it's around around that point. It definitely gets a bit harder. Picks up those games. It's like I, I found like I could get to fifteen hundred like pretty easily, and then fifteen hundred onwards, I really struggled. Yeah, so um, it does step up. And the parallax from the stars is, is brilliant. It's really really nice. It's so nice just zooming by, and yep. it creates this feeling of like um like it's a screen is full. It's constantly moving. I love the design of the ah! of the guy too. Oh yeah, um, and his and when you press the button, he kind of thrusts and moves a little bit. His head goes in, his legs go up. Well, it's a beautiful game, man, because it would be easy to just do something very simple, yeah. and it would actually be the same, yeah. you know, but uh, in terms of gameplay, but there's something really great about having all these details, like good music, beautiful, like, design, um, nice scoring, like, it just definitely, yeah. it's like a simple, old, kind of ancient concept of a game that's just like been... Pretty up. Yeah, yeah, really, and it's a, become a bit of a, a work of art, and I love being in space, man. It's it was like when I was joking <laughs> around, I was like, why are we playing pickup basketball? <laughs> we could be in space, you know? In space, doing space uh, things. I, I, we could be doing basketball in space. Why not do that? You <laughs> Set know? everything if in space. You know, or somewhere crazy, because if you're going to play, like, a, an Atari game, like, why not be in space? I'm down. 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 Oh, 25. Good work, dude. Okay, beat your... Two, okay. you got to get 2,000. Okay. We'll now see you, if I can. Now you've seen it's possible. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm starting to notice that your skills in games is higher than mine. <laughs> Packrat needs to remake Moon Patrol with their scrolling skills. Yes. Well, Packrat Pac is a store. They don't make games, uh, as far as I know. Um, but this uh, Pawn Software. Um, See, like this I'm is, fucked. Pawn, this is their, oh. this is Pawn Software's only Atari 2600 game so far. But yes, I totally agree that a uh, is, has there ever been a, a Moon Patrol um, remake? The original one's not bad for the for the 2600. It's pretty good, but uh, a nice remake would be good because Moon Patrol is an awesome, awesome game. I think I have some more notes about this. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, see, fuck. There's just some spots where you're like, there's nothing oh. you can do but just. I know you're just you're forced into. Into an positions. impossible position. Like, yeah, yeah. It's even my best score so oh, far. Oh, but it, but it's like right there. I'm like in this position where like I don't, there's nothing I can do. Moon Patrol hacks. Yeah, that would. I guess hacks are. Um, with what kind of things did they change? I'm I'm sure they changed graphics and maybe sound for the Moon Patrol. Oh, but, uh, that's a good save. To check out those hacks. Moon Patrol is awesome. Improvements over the original game. Yeah. Yeah, Carl G says everything's more fun in space. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yeah. I'm on board with that. Well, it's just, you know, it's like part of the fun of going into a magical place that's like different than. 1969! That's, that's my wall, dude. <laughs> you see, but did you see that situation I it was, was in? It was, it's, it was crazy. It's, 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 I don't know. And it, there's an element of randomness where it's like, no, you're thrown into a wall of rock. That's right. Good luck with but that. But it's also skill, too, you know, like, there's, 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 yeah. there's an element at play. 
It's it's the marriage between the two. I'm definitely getting better. I mean, at I can't game. deny that it, I was getting over two thousand each time. So. Correct. So it's there's clearly there's, there's clearly something. a thing there. Yeah. I've been keeping my eyes more on the right of the screen, mm. if that makes sense, to keep to keep yes. my to keep my awareness of what's coming. Yes. I think I was a little more reactive when I first played. I'm more proactive now. But see, like there something like go. something like that yeah. was like you went up, it'd be over. Be done. See, now you're thinking. Oh but, no! But That's see, a terrible way to die. 23, you did it. That's good. Okay, let me try one more. Okay. We'll see if I can beat that, but otherwise we're like, we're satisfied. <laughs> yes. That was good. But even then, it's tough, right? Like, it I found, I, I've died a few times just over over stimulating, like overdoing my thrust upwards. The super cobra treatment is more accurate. I like that expression. What's that? Yes. Oh, well, super cobra got a remake. Um, by by Champ Games, and it, I mean it destroys everything else that came before it. Um, That's Champ Games. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, oh, there you go. Ooh. Okay. That's how you get out of that tough God position. Damn it. Oh yeah. Damn it! See, like it's hard because it's it's you know, and because I, I I release it off. Okay, what? Twenty three thirty eight is a great score. Yes, yeah, it there is. There we go. That's good. I think we're. Uh, Moving on. We're happy. With yeah. That. Okay. Good. So, and and the title screen, beautiful shading. I mean, look at the dripping from Splort. Look yeah. at that purple dripping and the shading on. The, oh, it's the, beautiful. On everything. Yeah, I just I just love it when people, demo scene people need to make more games. Oh yeah. That's all I gotta say. Or if you're making games, go do a demo for a, a bit and then come yeah. back to a game. Like it'll probably up your um up your game. Uh, no pun intended, because you have to, you, you get a lot more creative with it. You're, you're like unconfined yeah. from the joystick. You don't have to read inputs and waste waste those, those that time doing that. You can dedicate it to other things and then maybe coming back from that. One of the, I remember- Oh, both of y'all beat my score. Hey, sick. Now when you I, have to beat ours. Yeah, there dude. you go. When I was a teenager, I, I remember I took some um, music lessons, and I remember the biggest thing I learned from those music lessons was to, like, before then, I just kind of randomly played songs. You yes. know, I would just try to do it all at once, and it was the first time I had a teacher sit me down and be like, okay there's different sections we can work here like we can just do long tones for a while we can just work on mm. a rhythm we can just and it would be like okay let's do like right. 20 minutes of just you know just long tones just blowing i played the saxophone blowing air through the instrument and yep. it's the same with a demo where it's like sometimes you jump and you just want to create a game create a game but if yes. you go away and you work like one section for like yeah. a while it'll invariably up your game because yeah. like you know, and that's the cool thing about these demo people is it's like they've they've gone into a certain area. So if there's something that's like your weekend, you might be. And that was yeah. always he would. I remember the other lesson I learned from that is they always said that like the problem with people when they practice is they only play songs they know because it feels good to play well. <laughs> of course, yeah. But pick something you're weakest in and and and, and just work that for a right, while. Right. Yeah. Um, and it's a cool methodology for like getting better at something where you just find a specific area that you're weak in, work it and then you'll find yourself um uh your whole game will be stepped up. That's right. That makes sense. Where's the what's next? Uh Spies in the Night 2. And this is uh very new build of it. Uh, and this is from Jared oh. Gray West. And we have played this before. Yeah. Uh, but this is uh, very, very new. And also the maps that <laughs> anybody made before are totally invalid. He's changed all the Whoa, layout okay. of, the, of the lighthouse. Um, so the the first post first posted uh, October 3rd, 2018. And that's when we played it. And that was on my birthday. Oh, <laughs> remember yeah, that? I remember that. And Tanny, Tanny came brought down. a little cupcake. So with sweet. A, yeah. So this build is from April 13th. So that is four days ago. It's a 32k game. And actually, I didn't say how big the other one was. The other game was an 8k um, game. Dan ABC's here. Oh, welcome, Dan ABC. Thanks for joining us. Get my spot again. Um, right. Other games uh, released by this uh, by Jared Gray West. Atomic Disco, Atomic Disco 2, Hysteria, Lost Cat, Quantum Tunnel, which we played, Red Blue 3D Game Demo, uh, Spies in the Night, Spies in the Night 2, and The Horde, and I do have The Horde queued up for later, another later show, because um, I didn't know he made that, so, and, and it looks like kind of a work in progress. Um, so, well, it's good to have you, Dan. Yes, welcome. Uh, 
The write-up for this is, hello all, it's been a while, but I'm finally getting very close to being finished with Spies in the Night 2. Amazing. I'm attaching the latest version below, made quite a few changes, both major and minor, based on everyone's feedback. Here's a list of some new features and bug fixes. Lengthened the lights on period in the electric floors room, which is good because it was very short and it's like, ah, where's the floor? Um, but you'll, you'll remember all these rooms again once we start playing. Because yeah. I think there's four or five or six different types of rooms you had to navigate. And I remember there were ones that we were like, for sure, we'll do these ones over these ones. Because yes. there were some really challenging ones. Some hard ones, some easier ones. Yes. Medium ones. Um, I, d I get why they don't, but I wish, really wish they would offer the bin when you order the cart. Yeah, well, you know why they don't do that. Because <laughs> then everybody's passing around the bin and nobody buys the cart. Yeah. That they've worked so hard to make and invested, actually invested in making the cartridges because it's it's not cheap to to make hardware and get all these things printed up yeah um did ever did we do lost cat i don't think oh no we did play lost cat that is true it was um kind of a maze you go from screen to screen oh, i don't think i did i you, think it was with darcy and yeah. you get cat food and like fish and i stuff. definitely didn't do we, it but we, you you probably did it yeah we did play that yes it was it was really fun actually um <clears throat> so don't start playing it yet because we need to map out these, these oh towers. yeah i remember that's that, part of this is making a map I remember it was it's it's a tricky thing, and there's some bonus ones too. Yes. I remember, yeah. Where you can we... skip levels, and you have to find those bonus ones, and yeah. Uh, the boxes are the most expensive part. Oh, are they? I would have thought it would be the cartridge PCB board in the cartridge itself, but I guess it costs a lot to get those boxes printed. Uh, he finished the game three map. Game three and R are done, but not selectable in this beta. Uh, yeah, we. I don't know if we'll play. I don't. Which one was it that was on here? Was it a, the demo? Did it say demo? Oh, I, I just hit it. So like, let's... actually, the, we can tell right here. Yeah, this is just the demo version. We'll briefly play the <clears throat> non-demo in a second. <clears throat> Sorry. Cool. Um, but it, it's kind of just more, more bigger, more of the same. And game R is random, so you're not able to map that out. So you're you're just thrown to the wind and it's like good luck. <laughs> Hope you like it. That's cool though, man. That's yep. that's definitely for like the real players. Um, not that we're not real players, but you know, yeah. We, we for the <laughs> show we gotta we gotta go through. But if you if you kind of got tired of doing it, um, random be perfect. Random would be great, <clears throat> and that would be definitely <clears throat> cool. Um, <clears throat> and the exhilaration of that, like knowing yeah. that you don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah. And, I mean, fixed a bug where audio would stay on during room transitions. I think I remember oh. that. I uh, implemented game R, which is lighthouse of 99 floors that is randomly generated. Uh, uh, I suppose says did the sound, is what he said. Yes. I hear my title screen oh, music yeah. in his first attempt at percussion. There we go. Let's listen. Oh, you've never done percussion before. It's got like a, um, a snare. Yeah, that's really <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> Very militaristic. It's got a good um, match for the game. Very yeah, spy, man, that's very, very cool. spy music. Very cool. I'm, I'll turn it up a little bit because most yeah. people. Yeah. for that. <laughs> of course. Excellent. Very good job. It repeats. Yeah, it makes yeah. it seem like a real game now. It wasn't before. Not before the music. The music <laughs> elevates things. Holy cow, it does. man! Yeah. Like more than more than fifty percent is sound in, in most mediums because that's yeah. what immerses you into the. Thing. Yeah, this game is an instant buy for me. It's so good. Like yeah. when it comes out, this one's instant. Because um, I have the original one as well. I got the super deluxe version of Get, uh, Spies in the Night one, with all the bonus stuff. <laughs> Um, added sound effects in various places. You can now use the select switch on the console to increment the game number at the title screen or the joystick. Uh, the reset on the console returns to the title screen and zeroes out the score. Oh boy. Ooh. Um, I guess that's the high score. Uh, added some background details to the ENIAC bonus room, like blinking lights. Fix the erratic spotlight movement. Thank you. That was deadly. <laughs> oh, the spotlight was, it was I just remember like, that ah. it was it, it was definitely it was like, like luck. I remember there's a few times that I like totally just like 
was stuck. Like I just wasted all my time. Yeah. And there was another couple times where I was like, oh, this is the easiest thing in the world. I just, <laughs> yeah. droop, and then just hung out on the left and I just went all the way through. Uh, in the hide the boxes room, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I fixed the box gap width and set up uh, some difficulty ramping. Uh, difficulty ramping on the stay out of the windows room. I love the names he has for these. <laughs> I added the custom score font from Spies in the Night 1. Very nice font there. Fixed an issue with the security lasers skipping and smoothed their movement at the edge of the screen. Oh, those security lasers. Uh, fixed the underflow bug in the bonus room when the time is subtracted from the timer. Fixed a couple of places where the frame was jumping. Good. New death animation from stay out, for stay out of the rooms, uh, stay out of the windows room. New data for each game. Game one has 25 floors. Game two has 35 floors now. And you get extra time for game two and extra time for game three because it's higher. Doesn't say how many rooms are in uh, game three. Uh, Jared Gray West, if you could type it in, in the chat, if you've settled on how many rooms are in game three. Um, and timing as well. This doesn't have it here. There's a certain amount of time uh, for game one, game two, and game three. Yeah. And each is increasing because there's more floors for each one. Um, feel free to try it out and let me know if you spot anything that's still broken. Especially if you run into any rooms that you absolutely cannot pass. Good. I mean, we will run into rooms we can't pass, but that's only based on our inability to yeah. be able to play them. <laughs> that's right. Not on the game, probably. Because you have to remember part of the fun of the show is we pick it up and play it for the first time. Yeah. Obviously, if you... Like like the last game, like if we basically started... We did win. We did. I believe. Yeah, we did. Because we had to chart yeah. it out. And oh, no. Got... I mean like the last game we just played. Oh, yes. Like, for example, if we were to sit down and screw around and play that all day, I guarantee you we could we could get some decent scores. Yes. And it's yeah. just also remember that sometimes when we, we're doing it for the first time on the show. So. Yes. And, and this is a game that I can see us doing a whole show on. It's like we're going to be level one. Yeah. We're going to be level two. We're going to be level three. And then we'll do our best on random, see if we can actually... Totally. Well, maybe, you know, we're still trying to figure out the list of things for the, the 12 hours. Oh, this, is, this, might be... Be, this might be a candidate depending on how soon that comes. And anybody on, on chat who has ideas for the 12 hour stream... Yeah, which games we should play yeah. for, the, for the 12 hour those, marathon. Uh, fundraiser for Stella. Because those would be... We'll, we'll get to hang out and really play a get game. Because for 12 hours, it's like, we got to fill 12 hours, man. We, ain't, we have to have games like this. Yeah. That have, like, goals and ends and 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 that we need to get to so if anyone's got ideas let us game know. one is 25 game two is 35 <laughs> yes it is for f number of floors uh arena foot i did three different types of spotlight movement now left to right bouncing at 45 and random but it doesn't get stuck anymore uh, okay um screenshots are helpful well we've got streaming so if we run into anything you can check back in the stream which is super helpful for Hell developers yeah. Uh, also, if you're up to feeling, answering some questions, how is the difficulty? Too hard? Too easy? What other suggestions do I do you have? And also the update for this one, it says, here's the latest. I is supposed to composing an amazing song for the title screen. Hell yes. Good job by I is supposed to yet again. Um, uh, the game, and he, Jared Gray West, uh, when I was talking with him about the, playing the game, the game is still open to comments, criticism, questions. I'm getting around toward the end of development. But I'll probably do one more quick round of bug fixes. Sick. Uh, small addition if anybody thinks of anything. I'm in especially interested in hearing about how people finding the difficulty. Game one seems easy, but I've been playing it every day since development, so it's hard for me to say. That's the challenge, right? And it's it's why it's why we're here, my friend. Yes. So we've got we got the paper. paper. We've got the pen. We're gonna do a little chart. Spies in the night. Show. Should we for jump game in? one? Yes. So let's. Jump into it. Floor one. Floor one. We'll see if I remember this. So let's do all left. Which left? Okay. And it's that lightning is lightning. Bolt. Oh yeah, I remember this. Come on. If I remember correctly. Whoa. Yeah. Work. Seems right. Yeah. Oh, you almost hit your head on that. This is a rough one, man. I think right. I'd probably prefer. I think I got <laughs> it though. This one's not too bad. It just takes time, I find. Yeah. So okay, so left is lightning. Yep, I got uh, that. And you should just left again. Yeah. yeah, we'll just do left and and then we'll do right. Oh, what is that? What am I gonna spotlight? Ah! Oh, damn it! I'll make that. Spot. 
spotlight. Your head and body can pass over them with no problems. Oh, it's only oh, your feet. I'm trying to go down. Oh, can I duck? Okay. Can uh, you duck? No, it's a button. Ah, oh, there we go. That's my issue. I was trying to duck like an oh, idiot. Okay. Ugh. Sorry, friends. I'm not doing so well. We're, we're getting. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get. It's back. fine. We'll we get gotta back do and mapping. Do we'll do the mapping. Yeah, Even if you I'm fail. To push it, man. The thing is, is it's like you know. Yeah, that's what we wanted before. Okay. I could do so much better. Floor three. So much better. Okay. A <laughs> question, a question mark. mark. 30. 30? Okay, that's definitely a good one. We actually have a shot at this now. 30 okay. plus. 30 that plus. is a good one to get, then. Uh, that's four. for sure. I'll go left. Another question. 15 uh, minus. minus. Okay, so... Oh, God. So, I'd be assuming... Don't we, go in that we, one. We won't do that one next time. Okay, left again. Floor five. Lightning. Lightning. This is a hard one. Ugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, no. <laughs> You're running into it. So, it, just your feet can't touch it. Your heads can't... Can do it. Need to go up a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. I find these ones are harder than, than the bit. others. It's always up hard when you have to push, right? The, uh, oh, I think that's right. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, you're good. Is this a good choice? Yeah, I think yeah, so. I think. Go right to the top and then over. Is this good? I think I just so. want to find out. Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> just barely touched. Electric floor. Oh, Emu Dan is gotta get going. Bye, Emu, Bye buddy. Emu Dan. Should we call him Emu Dan? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm sure it's Emu, as you emulator. No, you can't get past. No, him. I know. Go I'm here. gonna go down. <gasps> Rip. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Finny. That's that's about what we expected. <laughs> okay, so uh, do the right now. Yeah. This one is spotlight. Hey, where am I though? I don't know where I am. What the hell? Do you know what I mean? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I okay. forget. Go. No. <laughs> okay, now I can just do it. Yeah. Yeah, this is much easier. Yeah, that's. I, I totally mean, it's an easy. Level. So which one is the? This one. This is. Well, this is the Should, rotating. Let's spider. go right and see what's. Ah, there. that's the lasers. How did this one work again? You just don't touch it. You don't move. You oh, can, I yeah. remember. So we Stand still. They're like, uh... Oh, that's an easy movements. one. Well, yeah. It's only floor two. <laughs> floor three? Is this one the points? I would go for the right, but... Let's find out what it's happens. It's good to find out. I don't know how it's going to be any better. Unless it's a... Uh, Plus 15. Let's see. So the left is much better. The left is 30. Next one was minus, right? Yeah, go, yeah, so go, go to, to the, the right, right for we'll sure. Find out what that one is. Yeah. The wow. variety of kill you is pretty awesome. What's yes. this? Oh, lasers? Lasers. Cool. You definitely want lasers instead of... Oh, I just moved. Zapping. Yeah, that is the big strength. That... Were you moving? No, I don't think so. Well, you were, I guess. Game thought you were. <laughs> yeah, the big strength okay. of this game is the such huge variety of what's going Shit, on. Okay, it's so beautiful. this one's uh, lightning on the left. left. Let's and... try the right. What's this? Okay. It's oh yeah, spot. this one's um. It's not too bad. It just takes a little bit of time. And he's got momentum, so you have to kind yeah, of stop before you need to left. stop. Okay, so six, which one is this? Either way. Let's do left. Okay. You know what I mean? We'll just keep. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Still back and forth. Okay. Lower levels is just back and forth. That's oh, fast. That's, that's pretty easy. fast. That's actually easy. Okay, we'll do left. Left again. Oh, lasers. lasers. Okay. Okay, I, I struggle with the lasers, honestly. <laughs> Well, once you get t up to two lasers, it uh, starts filling the screen. Oh, those are beautiful. Beautiful lasers. Oh, too I, much. I definitely struggle with this. This these ones. Rotating light. Rotating? Rotating ah! Light. 
<laughs> 34 seconds to get uh, up to 7 to 25th floor. Can you do it? <laughs> uh. Ooh, oh, that was close. Well, we had close. to. It's tough. You have to fight for time, right? Yeah. Because I'm not doing so hot. So five seconds. It's gonna yep. be this one. We'll see how we do. Yeah, it's good. I, I got. You're the, good on this one. Oh, I got the. I got the the controls now, which definitely helps. Uh, so we'll get left, and we gotta just push because we're not gonna make it. <laughs> no. Let's just find out what it is. Yeah, another one. Or is that the spotlight? Spotlight. Nope. Rip. Okay. Okay. So now we can do some strategic moving. Okay. So we'll, and get up. Okay. Okay. So let's let's. So which do you like the best? Um, <laughs> you like the spotlight. The spotlight going left to right is easy. Yeah. Um, and the one that's the lasers are easy for the yep. first few. Yeah. Um, and uh, those are your favorite in order. And then, I, and then I would say the um, uh, the the ones which is just like the the spotlight where you have to like hide. That's a really good one for the higher levels because it's actually pretty yes. easy. It just it doesn't get any harder. It's really a time though. sink though, so if we can yeah, avoid that one, but later if we have to make choices like that that laser one with the two, I'm really bad with the double lasers. Yeah. Um, so I'd say lasers. Early lasers early lasers and then later i think for me i think you're much better at them than i am um but i would probably a bit. i would have i would choose um uh, the other ones over that because I, I i can i know i can consistently do the other ones but the laser one is it's a bit hard okay so spot, spot, spotlight, spotlight first laser then laser then plus 30 then laser um then um what was the Definitely not the electricity one, the one where we have to hide in the dark. You don't like that one at um, all. It's just too hard. It's, it is a time sink it's, as well. It's a tricky so one. If I had, last, if I had to pick it between like a laser one, I would choose it. Oh, but, okay. um, like, But like, uh, yeah. Okay, so then the rotating. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So what is it? Right. You just shout at me which <laughs> ones I should do. Right, okay. right, left. Okay, I'm going. Okay, what is it? Right and then right Right, right again. for lasers. <clears throat> yeah, single laser is like walking apart. This is apart. just like ridiculous. And <laughs> then, then left for 30. Okay. Extra 30 seconds. They really don't give you time. Like you've got less than a minute now. <laughs> and then right. I haven't encountered any floor skips yet. Yeah. Right for lasers. It's just a fast laser. And then, uh, right for the rotating. Yeah, because this is just a, a, a really fundamental one. Oh, I got scared. I should have just pushed. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good at the stopping. Oh, you're dead. Ugh. Shot! And for the people who haven't played the first uh, Spies in the Night, this was what the whole game was in, in Spies in the Night 1. And it just got increasingly harder places to hide. Like, they got spaced out. Okay, So cool. we're on floor 6, so you go to the right, because we don't know what it is. Lasers. Oh, this is like oh, okay. lasers? I mean, it's not... Pretty still, pretty easy lasers, and then we don't know what's to the right on Let's seven. Let's find out. I mean, it, it could be awesome. It could yeah, be it could a be like bonus. a floor skip. It could be like some That's extra you, time. Yeah. Oh, lasers. Uh, let's try it out and see. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> it's lasers both ways. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we'll we'll see how we do with this one. I think this might be the end of Airland Riot. Oh no! Be careful. There you go. Nice. Okay, so... We don't know what's to the right on eight. Let's find out. Yep. We still got a minute, so that's decent. Floor. Yeah. Mm. What's this? Oh, that's the... This one here. This is... Both of the turrets. Both are these things. Okay, cool. That's just unavoidable. Both of the spotlights. Oh, 
Yeah, those things are the width of you. Like, you have to stop precisely. Yeah. So, go to the right on 9. We don't know what it is. He says it's a plus 60. Uh, arena foot. Yay! Which it is. That's a, exactly what's needed. Yeah, that's what... And now we're in unknown territory. I'll just go to the left then. Yeah, right, we'll left. just be very strategic about yeah. this. And I think you have to do these in a specific order. Because if you didn't get that 60, you'd die. Like, yeah, you'd it's run out almost of... impossible. Okay, so yeah, this is like spotlight. this one. Oh, see, fine. this is getting a bit harder. Yeah, they're getting a bit more spaced out. So you have to do shit like that with this one. Yeah. The hard thing about this, right, is I have to do this one. And then I pretty much have, have to, do to do that. this one. And then I have to kind of do this one. Yeah, And you then would've... I think I have to do that. And now I can push all the way to the end. Yep. Yeah, because there's no slowing down. You don't have to. I'll do left, yep. and we'll just see. Ooh, big question could, mark. Could be minus. Oh, Plus five, five fours. fours. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that's That's necessary. what you need. So I'll go to the left. Four, four 16. 16. Um, we'll just keep going to the left and see what happens. Minus. Oh, We're down no. one four. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what's now that? Or floor 15. Floor 15. <laughs> wow. No, don't go to the left on 16 again. Once what, you should I go this. to the left? Yep. Yeah. Uh, lightning room. Uh, should I just do it? No, you can pick, oh, you can pick a different one if you want. Yeah, I think this might be the end of us. <laughs> well, because this is hard, right? Like, you got a minute? Just. Ooh, it's a pretty dense maze. It's the feet, right? Yeah, over to the right, then up a little bit. Up, up, up. I got it. I, got oh, I think it's right there, but it's Oh hard. my god, you're within a pixel. See what I mean? Like, it's, it's dangerous. Okay. And so. all the way over. All the way over to the right. Just all the way over. I think, is that right? Yep, all the way over. Fuck. And then, and then up. up, yep. Okay, I should have just go. trusted you. Um, now to the right, eh? <laughs> to the right, yes. Definitely to the right. So we don't... Not to the left or you'll go back. <laughs> Lightning bolt oh, room. Oh, you have to do it. Well, I guess we'll get better at this. And there's no avoiding that. No. Maybe up all the way to the Arena top? Foot's giving hints, but I want to do our you own think map. That's... No, no, no. Can I do I it? I don't think so. Nope, you can't. Damn it. Gotta go down. I think it's there. Yep. And then over, 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 over. And then I think up, right? I think that's good now. Oof. <laughs> uh, to the left, right? Uh, to the left, yeah. Let's find out. Let's, let's do it's it. It's random. Come on, friends. Oh, uh, big question. Ooh, hey! perfect. That's what okay, you needed. Okay, okay, we can do this. Yeah. yeah. We lost a bunch of time going down, so yeah, like we, we did. didn't have to do that again. That would help. Yeah. And we just did two laser rooms, which are definitely <laughs> time sinks, right? They are. Or two uh, dark rooms, sorry. It was yeah. this floor 18 left. No. no, go to the right. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh well. Fucked, we'll do it no matter what. Come on. Uh, he's planned it out so it's like, oh, you don't I like think, lasers? Well, too bad think, for you. Uh, is this possible, do you nope. think? No, no, no. It looks like it is, but it's not because the feet touch good. it. There you go, you're good. Whew. Okay. 19. If you get a couple more time bonuses, I think we'll see. We we'll might see. be able to make it. Left. Let's see. Yeah. Oh god, nothing. nothing. That's better than you know what I mean. Like it's it's a nothing yeah. room, so that's actually a win. It is. I'll it's call a that fast. a win because you can just do it right. So it might be a good option. Uh, to go to the right. Is lasers. Ooh. I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Um, I just think that like, you know, I know that I can do this one. Yes. Ooh, that's quite spaced out. Yes. Oh. oh! See, it was, I, it's just, you have to nail it, right? Oh. I had to be right on the edge. Yep. You almost Fuck. have to plan that out and then go, yeah. Big time. Oh my god. You gotta this nail it, man. End. It's definitely the end. This is the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. Five, four, nine. Rip. You're done. The problem is, too, is you can't really move when you, like, duck. Oh, oh I hit it at the, oh, right, no. the precise time. That is something you might want to look into, Jared Gray West, because he had to press the button in that game. So maybe make a button delay yeah. dur during the death, um, did the death um, title screen. So that there's like at least a couple, like a second or two seconds yeah, yeah. where it just does not pay attention to the button so that you can go, oh, my game is do over. Wanna, do you want to try it? I'll yeah, play. you'll navigate. And I think I'll take... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. 
take the same root type of root as you. Okay. Uh, I'd rather beginning the lasers, but then drop the lasers. Cool, we'll do. So you know the that's the turret. Um, I'd like those. I like the same stuff as you, so. Okay, cool. Turret diamond is just all the way to the thing. Okay, I think we got it. So you're gonna go to the right. Okay. Um, which is which is gonna give you this one, which is not too bad. Yeah. Just push. Just like once you get into the middle. Yeah, now you can just push all the way to the end. Yeah. You don't need to. And then you go to the right is lasers. Okay. Which isn't too bad. Uh, left is going to be 30 plus points. Nice. Oh, Jared says, good call on that. I will delay the press. The button press. Yes. Um, and to the right is the next one. It's going to be lasers. Okay. And I had to press the button to go in that door. I, I don't know if you wanted to make it button press or automatic. I swear it was automatic that you went in the doors before. Door number five turret is on the right. It's going to be then that's going to be better than the electric like the the oh dark God. room. It just takes too long the dark yeah. room. I, even though this takes a little bit, this is just it you doesn't can take it. as long. You're a bit more confident with yourself. Whoa. It kept going. Yeah. <laughs> well, you start to learn them a little bit, which is yeah. nice. Oh, it does um, automatically uh, I'd say go laser there. for six uh, on the right. Actually, no, I'll uh, do the one on the left. Um, it'll yeah. be this one's much better. Be faster. Yeah. Now the next one is just two lasers, oh, yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't better. matter what direction you go in. Oh. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta get to the to a middle point. Yeah, you're close. I think I'm pushing it too far. Well, the, I'll you go could, to that next. I'll go to this one. Yeah, and now you're pretty much good to the end. Yeah. Um, you have lasers no matter what you do. Oh, okay. So right or left, it doesn't matter. I found this one to be easier. Yeah. Um, that one's not too bad. Now left or right is turret. So some of the doors are automatic, but on one of on one of the places you have to press the button to go through the door. So, so which left one? or right is turret, no matter what you do. Okay. Slow pokey guy on this level <laughs> compared to other ones, but uh, oh, good call. Uh -huh. That's what I would have done too. And then yeah, just chill out. And there I we go. go. Um, now right is plus sixty. Nice, which is a good one. That's what I want. So the next one you can choose to go to the left or the right. The left is turret. The right is unknown. So it might be interesting to check out what the right is. Just yeah. to, it might be better. Might be better. Um, even just to look at it, even if you yeah. decide to go with the turret, is the turret's fine. I, yeah, I'll take a look, look at and it. See. If it's electrified floors, I'm out of there. I'm not doing that. It's too slow. Oh, damn it! Button goes to the left. Oh well. Oh, okay. So you kept that in where you can um, save time right, by like... pressing the button, and it auto goes to the left. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, okay, that's actually good to know, because every millisecond counts in this game. It does. It's part of the gig. Uh, yeah, you might be <laughs> able to do it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Um, so plus five floors if, to the left. Yeah. So we'll definitely do that, I don't even... We'll never know what that is. <laughs> yeah, fuck that thing. Yes. Okay, and so now you're going to just want to, you go to floor 16, I believe, and you want to go to the right, it's going to be a laser. Okay. Not to the left? <laughs> no, the left is down one floor. <laughs> I mean, this one I'm is... I'm pretty confident. This one this isn't one. so bad. It depends on the layout. There's yeah. some layouts that's, like, really easy. Yeah, that was fast. I don't mind electric floors as much as you. 17 is, is plus 60 to the left. You can yes, see what the right is, just for laughs. Oh, yeah, I think I'll stick with 60, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So you got two lasers, no matter, time, no matter what. Time. Okay. This is no... This is not... This is no you would let, just hit the button when you go in, right? Oh, just yeah, pop yeah. over the left, you may as well, because you have no choice. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I figured out the feet thing, it's a lot easier. Yes. That was definitely something that I needed to wrap my brain around. Yeah. Great. That, I'm, um, I don't uh, have Left is with just that. A, a blank one. Go to the right, though, and see what it is. Um, 
try it out. Let's see what it is. Minus. Oh, ooh. 15 minus. Yeah, that is not, it's not good. So turret or lasers? Lasers is right, turret is left. Oh, lasers at this level? I I'd say know. turret, personally. Yeah. Um, I struggled with this one, though. This is the one I died on. But actually, this is a better layout than the one I had. It is. Remember, mine was... Much more forgiving. Mine was fucked. <laughs> like, that was like, the whoa. hardest one that I've ever done. Yes. Like, yeah, because this one, you just gotta... Oh, yeah, just duck and move. I, yeah, that's a good call. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. Just screw landing on that thing. So, we don't know. So, I go to the left, and let's oh, see what okay. it is. Question. Uh, let's do that. Okay. 15 plus... Uh, left or right, whichever one you want to do. I yeah, check out the left. Check out the left. When in doubt. Ooh. Lasers both. Uh, laser floor. Lasers. Oh my god, it's a... And the higher you go, the longer between it showing you where they are is. Yeah, which is just rough. And a more complicated maze. Too. Yes. It's just a time sink, that's the problem. Because you don't know where your feet are exactly. You got it though. Okay, so try the left and then okay. see what it is. Um. We're almost there. But oh, I only have a minute. Oops, uh, I just pressed it, but I'm fine. That's not bad. It's the, oh yeah. Oh. Well, it's got a bit of more of a pattern. Actually, this is not a bad one no, at all, I'd fine. say. Compared oh, to some realities. You just gotta take your time. Man. Yeah. Yeah, just go for it. You're nope. fine. No, there we go. Cool. So let's try the left and see what's up with that. I tried. Yep. Oh. Check out the right just for laughs. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I mean we're we're here. Floor twenty three. Yeah, I mean the left was really good, but um. Oh, I'll rather do this. It's much faster. Way better. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, it, again, this one really depends on the layout, too. There's some layouts that are getting yeah, I can't make it. <laughs> yeah, I can make it to that first one, but that's it. it what? <laughs> I move and it gets me. It's a hard one, or man. Maybe I disappear when it gets me. Yeah, I just... <laughs> okay. Okay, so right. Oh, my God. For sure the right. Yes. Yeah, you got to oh do God. it, man. There's no options. You yeah. have to do this. If you can't beat this, you can't beat the game. That's true. That's rough. Cool. So left or right? I'm I just, just going to press the button so we know what's left. Is it random or is it left? Oh, is this it? Oh, this is. <gasps> Dude. With five Whoa. seconds left? Four seconds? Whoa. There's the bomb. Okay, that's good. <sighs> nice. 25th is the top. I'm just going to put nice. a little symbol. Shit, man. Should we do the other version? Yeah. Uh, version two. What's yeah. version two like? Uh, it's just more floors. Okay, it's a cool. different layout, different map. Um, yeah. Or should we move on? It might be nice to move on. What are we at? Yeah, I think we got it. I think yeah. it's a nice ending. Because I we know won. that if, if we do another one, it's gonna be, be mapping. It's gonna it. be another thirty minutes to an hour, yep. which I'm, which is not bad. But, but we, we can come it. back to this at another time and and win the other game and fill out the rest of this chart. Yeah. And... Or oh, I think just jump to game two. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's so... definitely going on the marathon list. If you, if you. Know. Oh yes, definitely. We got... Yeah. We have to beat every iteration of it. Yeah. And fill out. Oh, you made a mess of this. I sure did. What's that? What's That's that? a lightning bulb. It I is just, actually Yeah, there? You, you said laser. So oh. I started drawing a laser, but you, it's actually electrified floor. Right, electrified floor. So it's yeah. totally fine. It's... Okay. So, yes, very awesome game. Like, every part of it. The, 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 so much fun. The graphics, the look to it, the sounds... Um, the and um, film noir look to and it. fun to like um, have to learn the pattern and it's nice nice with two people but if you were on your own it would be really fun too <laughs> you just have like a little uh, notepad beside you and just yeah because there is a pause at the end I think 
at some point where you have to press the button to continue and that's when you could write it down. Totally. Or so you could you just could glance and check it out, right? Like it's like, I bet you knowing the map would save you way more time than trying to memorize it. It's a, it's a must. Yeah. Like there's no way you can do it without. It's, it's you pull out your notepad kids and yeah, <laughs> write it down. Right. And... So the next game is Luno Cod. Oh, cool. Luno Code oh, One. Shit. Let's move over to that. Now you got the music going again. I did. That's my bad. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Got it. Was it Luno Cod? Cool. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so this is a. It's termed work in progress. Um, because Trent never said this is the final. Interesting. I think it's really close. I can't see any problems with it. I, I played through it. First, po uh, first posted in 2012, March 2nd. This build is from October 29th, 2017. So it's uh, one and a half years old. Cool. And he hasn't posted any updates to it since then. Uh, it's a 4K game, so very small game. Uh, and this is the only game he's ever made. Wow. For the 2600. Um, so I, he said, I started getting interested in 2600 Homebrew when I was working on my Android port of Stella. Uh, oh, here's my first effort. Luno Code, Luno Cod 1. You control the Luno Code. What, what am I going to say? Luno Cod? Let's just go with Luno Cod. Luno Cod, sounds like a fish. Rover by remote control, shooting everything you can. As a kid, I always wanted games with no shot limitation. A want that has worked its way into this game. There are lots of missiles and explosions. Cool. I'm still working out the backstory, but the goal is to keep radioactive debris from landing on your moon base. Uh, and then this latest post, uh, in the spirit of Halloween. I love that sentence so much. I'm still working on the backstory. All we know is we're on the moon and some radioactive shit is flying at us and yeah. we gotta stop Protect. it. Protect. The moon. The moon base. <laughs> in the spirit of Halloween, he posted this. This is this version. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween, I'm raising this project from the dead. <laughs> so version 8 was build 6, really? April 2012? So this has been in the works for five years. I don't even know how to summarize what has changed since then. Basically, I've tried to make it feel more like a complete game. Background music that increases uh, speed as the game goes on. Wave markers. Title screen. Uh, and you can get hit by debris now. I have a couple of minor tweaks that will I will make this week before I can call it good. Then finally check check this off the bucket list, which he never followed through. So it's not done. Oh no. Unfortunately. I've been struggling with getting everything to work on the bottom part of the screen where the rover lives. The mountain scroll, missile launch, and debris falls. I've got it down to two artifacts I can live with. The debris is a uh, single color in that zone, and the leftmost playfield pixels are some, sometimes mangled in the mountains when there's too much going on in the left part of the screen. Okay, so, um, now he doesn't explicitly say, let me just read the change log, because there's some things you shoot, there's some things you don't shoot okay. that heal you back up, and some things you don't need to shoot at all. You can shoot them for points, but you don't need to shoot them. Okay, this can be interesting then. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, look at this. I suppose it's uh, pronounced uh, Lunox. Zot. Zot? Luna Zot? Luna Zot. Zot. Zot or Zot it might be. Luna okay, that makes Luna. more sense. Because I have not um, pronounced many Russian what, words. What language? Is that Russian, I suppose to? Oh, yeah, 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 it is. Because it's a... Um, uh, it means moonwalker. See you later, uh, Jared Gray West. He he was the guy who did the last yes, game. Good Jared work Gray on, West. The, on the game, dude. Awesome work. Such it's... a fun game. I'm excited to play the second round. Yeah, we and... didn't encounter any, no. any issues other than, you know, pressing the button when you die. Like having that little delay and he's yeah. that's something he's going to add. Um, yeah. This it's is... great. Oh, yeah, dude. The animation at the end, the title screen, the, the music. The only thing is, to... man, is like you could, as, as many games as you want to do. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you could do a uh, uh, hundred levels. You could do, you know what I mean? Like I think it just depends on how far you want to push it. Because... Well, he's got the random one set to 99. Amazing. So that's that's a long one. And it's random, so you can't map it. Yeah, out. I might do a map 99 and a random 99. It's up to you, man, because yeah. it's like, I, I love the I map I think number version. three is 99. Is it? Okay, and then, then number four is a random 99. 
then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I, I can't recommend any more things. That's perfect. Yeah, it's it's really wonderful. It's an amazing game. Uh, Luno Zod. What, is it? what did he put on there? Luna Zod. Luna Soviet Zod. robotic lunar rovers designed to land on the moon between 1969 and 1977. That's what I have right here. Luna, Luna Zod 1 was the first roving remote controlled robot to land on another world. Yeah, so that's what this little guy is. Whoa! Remote controlled roving robot. Not something that just sits there and lands. But moves. That's amazing. In 1977. Always designed. Did it actually did land though? <laughs> Maybe it didn't land. I don't know. Because I think we would have heard about it. It was the first roving remote robot to land. He said to land. Oh, it was destroyed during the launch. Was and, it? Oh. oh no. And then uh, Lunazod and Lunazod two in 1970 and 1973 landed on the moon, and then Lunazod three was never launched. Uh, it's probably. so it's so crazy to think that. The only reason why we landed on the moon was because of like competition with Russia. Yes. It became like a pissing contest and that's that's why humanity <laughs> decided to do it. And after the person claimed it, it's like, ah, oh, it's not as much interest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's over. Yeah, no, it moved. It moved onto the moon. It moved down ramps. Uh it uh is able to work in a vacuum a in a vacuum, a special fluoride-based lubricant was used for the mechanical parts. Wow. Damn. Rover ran during the day, stopping occasionally to recharge its batteries via solar panels. That's so awesome. Okay, so let's get into it and play the game. Whoa, okay, I move around and I just... Holy shit. So you got a little radar at the bottom? Oh my god, okay. Okay, Jesus Christ. What is happening? Oh god. Whoa, whoa, and this shit's landing... Now I think... Oh god, so some of this stuff I can get? I definitely know... No, you don't get anything. Don't collect anything. But you said oh. some of them are like, cool. Oh, maybe you do collect the blue ones. That's the thing. Try I... and collect the blue okay. ones. Whoa. The lightning bolts definitely this... increase the radiation. Okay, so there's get a little rid of the, the radiation. Yeah, get rid of those. Oh, and Those don't do anything. But, but the okay, so the lasers do the damage. Yeah, it's collect good to those. Know. Collect those. Try and collect those. Okay, so I gotta kill radioactive things. Oh fuck! Die, and then no, oh no, no, I can't hit can't, those. Can't hit those either. No, shoot everything. <laughs> well, the rocks don't seem to do anything. Yeah. Oh, cool. Appreciate the guys playing and the feedback later. Oh, bye, Jared Gray West. What if I just fucking oh, bye, Jared. Man. Just go this. for it. Let's see his uh, you know, and just change log here. Let's okay, okay, can... okay, okay. So I just basically I focused on the lasers. Yep. And that helped a lot. Okay. Yep. Uh, so I made it through the entire first round. Can I wrap around? Yep. Yep, you can wrap around. Okay, so that one doesn't seem to do anything. So didn't they, hurt. So the the blue ones don't do anything. Oh, okay. When they um, hit, when they hit, it's it's so just, just the... it's just the lasers. Oh, okay. So so I gotta just concentrate on the yellow. Yeah. Okay. And then I got good, gotta... good, good. And then now, so I'm on wave three now. Radar remote Just kills. unload. I had a bombs. moment where I was like, how would James do this? Yeah, he wouldn't. He would just unload. <laughs> so it says that you have smart bombs. And you can wrap to... around. So check that out. You see right, yeah, left, right, left. That is really, That's really, really cool. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a little radar, if everybody can see that, um, where it tells you where things are coming down because it may not even be on your visual That's screen. That's right. So you have to, like, pay attention But you don't know what they are. Okay, you so I got I, one came through. First one yep. to come through, and another one. Okay, so you got a little. Well, bit I'm of... doing okay though, because yep. like that was the first ones that went through. Period. Your radiation doesn't go down between waves. Okay, so you really. Okay, and they're coming like diagonal now, man. Whoa, there might be some over there. I don't <laughs> even know. I don't even know. Okay, lasers. Whew. 
added debris, move tables, added uh, waves. Each wave gets longer, speed, speed increases over time. I appreciate the uh, uh, philosophy of unlimited bullets. <laughs> yes. It's, it's cool. The ratio of radioactive absorbing debris increases over time. I don't think you should shoot those blue ones. Try not to shoot them. Because I want to see if they actually absorb the radiation. Oh man, because you're right. That would be dope if they if they did. Letting the blue land, removing the damage bar. That's what I'm thinking. So try not. I mean, don't don't endanger yourself trying to do it. Whoa. But, oh, no, it hits you. You can't let things hit you either. So try and avoid them hitting you. Okay, so that like should those absorb some? They're not. They're not really doing much. And not then doing anything. And just and I've seen you hit a blue, and it it damages. It does. It does it quite a bit the damage. of damage. Yeah. So it's not going down. No. It doesn't explicitly say what these are. Dude. In any of. When the in doubt, just like blast just the hell out kill. of everything. Just, just shoot them. You know, I think I think at the second that I tried <laughs> to like select, I just got like three no, hits. Wasted. You know what I mean? I, I feel. I think this is this is a game of attrition. Oh, no. This is the yeah, oh, so why did I do 210 and I made it to like... Your bar increased with the blue landing. I don't think I don't. Did. I never did, actually. At the no. beginning of the game, there were there were many blue it, ones that... And it just didn't do anything. But, but we'll see what on James's, James's Yeah, play. it's easier to analyze when it's the slow part. So yeah, here so comes don't, a, so let, let But the, I don't have any radiations. So see, it didn't do anything. But it did flash when it touched. Like, watch when it touches. It's like, it's like absorbing, almost. It looks mm. like it's absorbing. So maybe later in the game it doesn't absorb? Is that what they're suggesting? I'm gonna let one of the <laughs> one me. of them land. Not not that, but I'm gonna let that land. Okay, now we can maybe watch the blue. See what it does. So we've got one. So oh, perfect, two blues. No. Did it make it smaller? No. I don't it think didn't, it did. Didn't do anything. Mmm. Do I have to touch it? No, it increased. It, it was much worse when it Much landed. worse. Yeah. Yeah, see. Now my game is screwed. Oh, and it's just, <laughs> it flashes through the colors. Like, the colors don't seem to mean anything. They just, you know, no. they, just, they just go through it. Yeah, basically... Unload and just <laughs> make sure you don't let those yellow guys through. And yeah, that's that to me. That was that was the game. Like as soon as I did that, I was like, oh yeah, I got this. So maybe still working on the absorbing part of it. I don't know. Potentially, nothing has made it go down. No, definitely not. If anybody sees it go down, please let us know because I haven't seen anything making it reduce. Shooting it, letting it land, touching it, nothing. Unless I need to touch one of those meteors, those round things, maybe? No, because those things those don't look like... Oh my god. They're all over the place! Ah! Oh my god, they're all over the place. I'm gonna redo. Because <laughs> I was experimenting. Added absorbing degree debris. What did it say? Sorry. Read that. Added absorbing debris. These lower the radiation levels if allowed to hit the ground. That is in the thread. But what? Which one? Which ones are they? And none of them seem to reduce it ever. Like none of those things. Did you start a new game? Yeah, because I did terrible because I was experimenting. Yeah. Not, see, none of that reduced it at all. No. All those things. Every single thing was not the lightning bolt. And lightning bolt increases it. That's yeah. the only thing it does. Dude, just, just kill unload. the lightning bolts, and that's it. Just unload, kill lightning bolts, and, and see how low far you can get. It. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What the fuck just happened? Game. <laughs> what was that blue You almost flash? need to clip that and, like, look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> clip that yeah that's true now i don't want anyone to clip it i just mean like some know. people seem to have done clips of of this show but then i look at the clips and it's like why why was that clip what happened there that was exciting <laughs> there again 
Is it Am that I pressing up or down? <laughs> is or it that something? you like saved all of them or something? Oh, maybe I got every. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like that might have been like a big deal. Maybe. Cause, cause like that radiation has not gone down. No, though. that seems more legit. No, nothing up or down doesn't do anything. Yeah, if you saw in the later levels, it started to get really dire. Oh, yeah. Like I can't even see some of this stuff. It's like it's totally far away from me. Okay, so but you're you have way more points than me. Oh, yeah, I do. So like I think you've been killing more than I have. Uh, like I think I I think I just let a lot of shit go through. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it didn't hurt me, but it certainly didn't. But I think give it decreases me... your score it's... when things land. No, no, because no. like, see, I was on wave ten with two hundred and ten, and you are on <laughs> wave, wave like six or seven with like almost four hundred points. Yeah, I think you're just killing more than I did. Because you do get points for everything. Yeah, so I like that. That's cool. Yep. So like, you know, huh. you, there's the absolute. You absolutely have to kill. So there's no. Oh, so you you're getting points for everything that you hit, man. I think I also started getting experimental in the yeah. at a certain point in You're the middle. Like I was trying to like we were trying to oh. figure out the game versus if you just do a straight run where you just kill everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough because you, you want to be clever with stuff like this, but at the end of the day, it's like when in doubt, just kill everything. <laughs> it's the shoot them all, kill them all, let God sort them out. Yep. The same. <laughs> it's, that's how it is. Oh God. What a phrase. <laughs> it's terrible. Ah, ah, ah. But see, yeah, this, this is, is where end. this is where you have to start to like. This yeah. Is the end. You... Four fifty-five. One point per item shot. Yeah, we'll see if I if I can yeah, actually do. do decent job. You do get a point every time you shoot something. It's just one point. Really? It is just one point. That's hilarious. One point per per, per thing killed. Thing, yeah. Oh, so I, it's because I killed everything. everything. It was just like a perfect game. Ah, uh, that's what the blue is. Thank you, Arena Foot, for keeping track of those oh, scores. Oh, dude, Arena's the best. Yeah. yeah. And we definitely miss you when you're not here for the score keeping. Another blue. Everything. Maybe you get a bonus. Dude, I got, I'm at 240, yeah, so like definitely do it. For, yeah, and you got some, everything. you got some bonus too. Because we weren't clearing everything. Yeah, because we were just trying to figure out like what this game was. We're like, how does this work? So, so I'm already. Oh, I didn't mo I have to notice. I'll try and get it this time. I'm already at 360. Yeah. And it's like way. You didn't kill 360 things. Oh, oh you missed, I missed it. it! Oh no! And I got hit by it. So yeah. That's okay though. So close to clearing. It's okay. Just missed one. It's getting to the higher levels, so like... Yeah, you, after wave like you five, you're like... not gonna even come close to just clearing the screen, because they're like going all over the whole screen. Yeah, bonus blue screen for killing everything. Right? Cool. Yeah, oh, so that's a strategy, right? Like, especially early on, you just... Only early on. Like, there's, there's no way you can get all this stuff. They're... They're further apart than you can move fast enough to kill them all. Yeah, and it's actually learning to like read. Learning to read the screen is a big deal. Like the yeah, bottom. The bottom screen. is so essential in later. <sighs> I'm getting stressed. <laughs> Stressful game. No, you're doing good. Doing okay, I've but only like, got one radiation. You know, you, you, that's the thing about games like this, though, is like as soon oh, as you think you're doing tied with me. As soon as you think you're doing okay, you you lose, right? You can't yes. get cocky. Do not. You have to be a militant Buddhist. That's <laughs> right. You have to have Zen, Ooh, but concentrate. <laughs> but, but but also be a warrior. It's a motherfucker. <laughs> Radioactive debris blinks in the radar. Uh, oh God. I don't think it does. Oh, okay. I think you took that out. Dude! Whoa! <sighs> wow, wave nine and you cleared it? Somehow. I don't know how that worked, but... <laughs> Do you only have to... Oh, God. Did you get any extra? No, I'm, I, let, I let a few go through. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Good God. stuff. Come on. Oh my god, is this a new wave or is this the same wave? <laughs> wave 12. Holy shit. Yes. Oh god. Wow. 
what a what a day. <laughs> what a time to be alive. No. Oh, you hit it. Oh God. It's still. Okay. Only your second. Oh, oh, third. oh, no, oh only go up to the yellow. Oh God. Just yellow. I think it's still wave thirteen though, man. Yep, oh God, and they're just coming. 13. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. What Whoa, the hell? They just, it's Wasn't even on the screen. They're coming from all directions. Okay. I have to just watch this. Oh. Good. Score. What Wave the 14? Oh, man. Okay. Now I have to beat it. 684. <laughs> 684. I can do it. Oh, you can. This is your kind of game, too. It is. Shooters. Oh, God. I'm not an expert at them, but I'm not terrible. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta clear these early ones. Yeah, there's no the bonus. Oh, there's no question. Oh, my God. What the... <laughs> yeah, man, you can redo if you want. Wave zero. Oh, it starts on zero. Like any good programmer. What's happening? Is this just the mega fire was yeah, on? Yeah, it might have been on. Because it was, it was not doing a continuous stream for a bit there. We're good. Okay, cool. Now we're good. Yeah, you gotta just. Something is glitching. Can you see it? It's like red. It's not a continuous stream of fire sometimes. Weird. It goes red it's and blue. It's just 100 every time. Oh, uh, okay. So. But now it's fine again. Weird. Yeah, it was just for a little bit in the first level. My shots became these yeah, tiny red. And... So, oh, you can. So there's 20 things and you get 100. If you, mm. At least for these first ones. Yeah, my, my fire became red and blue dots. Didn't make noises. Yeah, and 360, so perfect so far. Nice. Perfect, 480. <laughs> Perfect score. That's good so far. Yeah. Because because you, you, there's a certain point where you can't get it right. So if you can't get, if you can't fully clear these early ones, it's yeah. like there's no way you can push for a high score. No. Because um, 600. So yeah, you're great now. <laughs> Perfect. So pretty so far. much now you're you're in good shape. Because um, pretty soon you're gonna have to just start doing whatever you can to not die. Yeah. Like here. Oh, I hit it. It's okay. It's just that's and this is where right you have to get strategic because sometimes pushing for the perfect um, will actually hurt you it and then will. you're fucked for yeah. later. So it's, it's like pointless now. So I'd say yeah, now's the time. Actually, you got just, a perfect a higher up. I got a nine, but that was just also just like combination of luck and so. and you know, I was I was in the zone. Um, I don't yeah, think. I, so. <laughs> I mean, in a perfect world, you do it for every level, but. You're just gonna make choices at a certain point. Okay, so I think they have two rounds now. Yeah, right? look at so that now straight it's... down. I should have got perfect on this, but I missed one. So it's, it's 20. It. It's 20 each time, but I think they added two. So they start the difficulty kind of over again? Yeah, it starts to add up, man. So. What? Dodge. Ah, look at all these things all over the place. Oh, radiation is terrible. That's the tough thing because you kind of went for perfect score. Yeah. After I've been six. letting things go. Through. That's, that's the issue. Um, but that's also partly the fun of this game, right? Damn it. Higher score though, man. <laughs> uh, what did you get? It didn't. I, I, nobody recorded it. It's okay. I was like six eighty nine, and I think I was wave thirteen. I think that was that was. Oh. So, uh, so I was a higher wave than you, but but I but a lower score because I didn't like nail. Do you want to do another one? You can do another one. Yeah, I do. Want I'm, to not do gonna, one, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do better than than that. I think I had my run. Oh, let the blue land cumulative radiation removal at the wave end. <laughs> the problem is, is that killing Let's, everything and getting a hundred points seems way, way more better. worth it. Let's just try that. 
Let's try that. So death, death. So there's two. And I let one blue land. There's two more blue. And did it go down? Not really. See, this is the thing. I'd say just like push, no, just kill it. No, it didn't go down. So, no. Still, I think he. I think this build has a, a bug. Because I think he, you also get a point when you kill the the blue one. You do. You get a right? point for everything. So it's... And big points for killing absolutely everything. So I think he maybe took that part of the game out. So I've never seen the radiation go down once ever. Too, too much. Gotta get them high up. Yeah, and you also gotta keep your eye on that bottom screen. Yeah. Just to just to tell if there's anything out of your range. Yeah, not so much in the early, but in the later ones. Oh my god, your eye is almost completely down on those on the bottom. Yeah, when I that I think that's the only way I got wave nine was I was like I kept glancing down to like the bottom screen. And I was like trying to keep a, I was, I was trying to like keep an eye on it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, not for my score. It's not. Uh. <laughs> and see, that's where you need to have your eye on the yes. bottom screen. I, 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 I honestly kept my eye on the bottom screen for like as for like the first bit, right? Yeah. yeah. So just watch that bottom screen and wherever they're coming out of you just run. Run to it. Yeah, so like to the right, and then you can wrap around. It's a motherfucker though. Yeah. The graph the graphics in this game are amazing. It's a cool like, game. The colors and they are even able to make craters on the bottom uh, mountain range by just adding a blank yeah. area to the gray. Super clever. And this is where you can start getting the bonuses again. Bam, good work. On, on wave seven, it kind of resets and so they start coming down straight again. And then they... they kind of Yeah, because they almost, they start becoming diagonal, yeah. but like um, it's still manageable. Yeah. It's okay, Arena. <laughs> you missed your score and he's feeling bad? No, that's all. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't Arena, to... you're fired! No, man, you don't have to be glued to the screen all the time. <laughs> it's all good, man. Oh, my God. That's a toughie. Yeah. Because I only so made it to 13. Hard. I think 13 was my max. 13 or 14. I'm pretty sure it was 13, though. Yeah, and I remember, it gets and it was six eighty something. It just gets so diagonal at these levels yeah. up here. Well, I had I had done really well not getting any um, any like uh, really radiation yes. until like I started getting radiation around eleven, which gave me like that extra bit. Yeah, um, let's let's move on though. That's a good yep. one. Yeah, the graphics in this and the the movement is oh, really cool fluid. Game. Really, really fluid. Yeah, and I love the I love the concept of the waves and you get like certain points. Um too bad about the radiation thing. Um yeah. uh, but it's okay. That's where it's like I would almost want it to just like, you know, not be a thing, you know? Yeah, like, cause it's like, why add these blue things necessary. if they're the same as as debris? Like, why not have the the electric ones and then just the if 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 there's Maybe no if difference? Maybe if you catch the blue, then no, we tried and it damages us. But I mean, a, in a, a later build, he could add, oh, he could add yeah. that to it, like catch the blue to bring it down. But, yeah, and that's hard, like to catch yeah, the blue and, and not run into other things. Yeah. And then not that's a cool idea. I'd do that, man. That's way yeah. cool. I think it goes down if you shoot all your enemies per round. I didn't notice that actually. I didn't oh. so. But then again, we never really did never it tried on, that one. on ones later. Um, well then, yeah. But then, if that's the case, why have these blue ones? Why not just have some energy if you yeah if you kill everything? Okay, so the last game we're going to be playing is Incoming, and it's actually a two-player. Oh, sick! 
Which controller are you going to use? Yeah, that's a good one. Just a clicky one. It's it's not a it's not an action. It's mm -hmm. a turn based. Oh, sick. Um, two player. So it's not. It doesn't really matter what joystick. Okay, cool. What's this one called? Where incoming is that incoming. the one? Incoming. It's two player and one player. Oh, sick. Uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> As we were talking about this I haven't type played. Of game. Oh, I haven't done this in years. This is cool. So I believe it's single player first. Okay. So should I? What? Should I hit hit go? Or um. Yeah, you might be able to start it with the button. Yep. Okay. okay good. So, okay. So the on, which one am I? First number is the angle. Whoa. It's between zero, which is straight across, <laughs> and ninety, which is straight up. The second number is power. You're the red. Okay, and then if I go up or down, so that's the angle. So right so now it's zero is completely flat, straight, straight across to him, which you don't want. So you probably want to like a fifty-five. I'll try like fifty, 50 maybe. <laughs> Definitely needs to be higher than forty-five because there's a mountain range there. I think you're right. We'll try sixty, and then maybe like <coughs> die in there, maybe a fifty. Let's try 60. <coughs> Sorry, my lungs. You're dying. Oh. Dying there. Let's see me. what happens. Um, oh, so that's this... not by that powerful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Computer's on, playing on hard, and he gets to go first because he won, which is totally not the right way to do it. Um, this is by Ben Larson. This is first posted in November 2nd, 2001. And this build is <laughs> version 1.02 um, in 2009. This is a 4K game. And his other game, he's wow. only made one other game, which is a triumph of a game, Panky the Panda. It's an unbelievable platformer that I played very early on in the series. And I won. It took a long time. It took three and a half hours to win that game. Hey, we got a cat. Hi. Hi, Pixel. You here for the show? Everybody say hi to Pixel. Uh, so this is this is game is available in the Atari Age store. Uh, the story behind it: uh, in a world racked with whoa, I've never seen that word. Inter internecine <laughs> with a world racked with internecine tanks falling out of the sky in the desert warfare. You are the elitist of the elite, the crack of the crack, the creamiest of the crop inexplicably falling yet again onto a mountainside undamaged <laughs> you open the hatch of your main battle tank to look out on the serene desert landscape turned to war zone as the early morning sun glints off the barrel you begin to wonder whether it's all worth it whether it'll ever end and whether you'll see your family again suddenly the stillness of the morning is shattered by a thrill shrill whistling sound from high above which gets louder by the second you swing the hatch shut turn to your crewmates and shout the all too familiar in refrain incoming incoming is an artillery shooting game that can be played between two players or between one player and the computer the game is played in rounds each round of the game features two tanks one red one green squaring off against another across a side view two-dimensional battlefield the object is to destroy the other player's tank by lobbing shells across the board and hitting him players alternating fire at one another until another player hits the other at which point that player wins around and the next round begins the first player to, sco to score a predetermined number of round wins the game those familiar with Zonox's artillery duel will be familiar with the incoming play gameplay mechanics so How oh god i love this kind of game so much <laughs> i'm not very i'm this is a completely different thing because the games i used to play you you would you would aim the actual like um turret and then you would hold the button down to feel how far it would go right fight cam yes <laughs> it would build up and you'd let go exactly yeah. you have like a power very so go very golf exactly type of power and that's a good way because you can't get super precision on it yes and you and there's a little bit it's a little more embodied like yeah. you kind of it's almost like you're shooting a slingshot versus this one is all like calculations yes. which is like addictive i'm super into this so if cat fight cam in the bottom corner there oh they're giving each other a bath now uh I'm thinking because i have the higher ground i'll just do something like this <laughs> Well, no, it's, I was just trying to, I'm trying to still figure out this, like, oh, power, right? So, see, like, um, 60 might be good. No, I need way more, more, right? 
He'll get Except me. the computer's so good. Yeah, yeah. It's fun though because it's like okay, so now I now it's extra hard. Uh, incoming okay. as several improvements over artillery duel, including two player or one player. Teddy bear easy mode difficulty against the computer, which I we might suggest because it's five to one right now. That's okay. No, it's like I'm I'm learning, right? It's uh, it's a completely new system. So uh, like randomly I... generated asymmetrical play fields. So I guess the other one had um, symmetrical and there was set numbers. I kind of we... have to do that, and then we'll try this. So Realistic this vector does. based physics model. Ah, see, see, this is a really tricky one, right? Yeah, I don't know if you can even get it at ninety nine. Is that wind? Is there wind in this? I don't think so. No, there isn't. But like, this is gonna be really hard. Like, um, I have to like, I have to get some. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I do this one. There's a way though. There's always a way. I don't um, think so. This might be. Clear. I think he has just as much difficulty because he has to get it up and get at that steep, steep angle. Yeah, but I think. <sighs> Yeah, you're right. Um, but the but the thing is, is he has I can't shoot um, uh, an arc right because the no. easiest way to do this would be because I have to uh, be below a certain amount because if I shoot, I'm shooting into that thing. But he doesn't. He he can arc yeah. in any way. So like for example, I, I'll try seventy five and maybe like um uh I'd but go like but all see all the way up. The problem is, is like um uh the arc is. It's better, oh, yeah. right? Ninety-nine. It is. Well, the problem, the the problem with yeah, super powered, and then I think maybe seventy. We'll see what that does. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I think we're getting close. Oh my god! There Let's you go. We're close. Just a little bit less power. The arc's really good, though. Oh yeah, there you go. Two points. So that's better than nothing. There's okay. terrain damage, which is a really good okay. improvement. So, so, so like this is a tough situation here, right? Yeah. Because again, I don't have much of an angle, but I can do like eighty maybe. maybe it has 80. fast gameplay and up to twenty colors on the screen at once. <laughs> Includes a cartridge, a sixteen-page full-color manual, and the artwork and manual not, created not by bad. Holger Ball. I think I got this. Who won the incoming label contest? No, see if I had another go at it, I might have been able to do it. Two six isn't bad though for a first round. Yeah. Completely new system. So it says the the terrain is generated by the difficulty switches. So let's see how that. Okay. Completely different story. Mm. Yeah, there's a random element too, right? If like like this is a completely different game now. So let's see the different settings 10 14 18 22 oh teddy bear oh up to six best of six so let's see the teddy bear settings okay let's try this. i don't know what that number on the right is it's let's like all this. glitchy so and weird 90 we'll do like maybe 70 99 is a bit rough maybe so this should give uh, him a handicap so that he's not as difficult. Whoa, so close. Just a little bit less power and you got him. I think so. We'll see. Um, ah, see, yeah, it's tough because, like, they're so related to each other. We'll try this out. See how this does. Oh, a bit more. He'll probably get me. <laughs> I guess the difficulty, the computer difficulty, is how many times he needs to shoot to, before you get killed. Yeah, man. I'm going to try a, 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 a fastball. <laughs> so close. Really close. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try that again. Oh, yeah. I but definitely like, do it again. But maybe a little less power. <laughs> no! But you'll get him this time. Don't change a thing. Yeah, it's all good. We're getting close. Okay, so where, where are we at now? Definitely another glitch on my system. That right-hand side mess there, is that what you're saying? Yeah, probably. Okay, so this one's a bit more of an arc, so like, let's say like, maybe we'll do like a 70. Let me check it on Stella. And then we'll try like a... Try like a 70-70 a for this. Oh, a bit far. <laughs> I don't mind the angle, though. I'll try like a, let's see, 
a 70. Oh, it is. It is a glitch in my system. There is wind. Oh, fuck that. That's the wind. Oh, On cool. the right-hand side. So there's six wind. Seven wind to the left. Or to the right. Seven wind to the right right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's my system being uh, glitchy. Yes, there is a problem with uh, color timing on my system. <laughs> and which which makes it look all glitchy there and it makes it look glitchy on some dis some games it uh it's off by oh. just like one your display is corrupted no if anybody knows how to fix that i don't i, I think it's to do with my um rgb upgrade that uh, it's th it throws it's throwing off the timing just enough this is actually a new glitch maybe we'll try like Oh boy, new glitches. Wonderful. Try 80 and then maybe like 50. Let's see what this feels like. Yeah, even the f like f the oh, number close. in the middle is all glitchy too. Sometimes. What like what is that? Like that's a 30, so I guess it was 40. Yeah, see. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> no, I won't. It's it's t it's interesting trying to figure out the like um the differences cuz I did like an 80 50 last time and it was really close. And that's just a bit it's a bit more so like 80 50 last time was too far but now it's probably not the wind probably, changes probably perfect oh man yeah the wind is just what i'm trying to learn now oh <clears throat> rough i really enjoy games like this a lot yeah um, strategic games. definitely this is really fun it's hard it's a it's a challenge though with this wind and, and trying to learn these calculations i've only ever gotten two hits which is you know, not great, but... <laughs> this is on teddy bear level. Yeah. Well, I haven't gotten one on teddy bear level yet at all. Oh, yeah, it should show the EP and W above the bottom numbers. Oh, my God. That's very true. Yeah, this one's super glitchy on my system. Oh, so close. That's terrible. <laughs> and then it's going to go forever. Damn. Gone. Not even on... It never yeah. came back down. That, it's the wind. Trying to learn this wind is rough. Because you see, like, I was so close, I did a tiny adjustment, and it, like, didn't make any difference. the wind is to the left now. And is it to the right now? No, no, it's to the left. It's glitchy, but there okay. should be an arrow on the left. You just can't see the I'm arrow. I'm going to do a fastball, James. Are you ready? Yeah. 10 degrees. 99. Nice. Right at him. Take that. Oh, all he needs is one more point. Oh, yeah. He might get it, actually. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I have to go high. Um, maybe 40. It feels a bit tight. I'll do 60 and then uh, maybe 50 and we'll see what that feels so like. So this is a good game to test out my glitchy system. <laughs> Anybody has suggestions on how to fix this? Yeah, I don't know what these this? numbers are. So like 0 to that to to, to e <laughs> and then we go to 60 <laughs> so i'm gonna go with e e9 and we'll find out what happens okay e9 is clearly not what we want <laughs> hieroglyphs yeah that's just part of the fun okay <laughs> let's try uh a little bit more power maybe we'll try 60 five the wind's pretty strong to the left to the left that wasn't bad i was i mean like um yeah you're getting there let's try a little bit more power okay so i went right angle 80 that too, little too edge much. of of the too much <clears throat> that little edge of, of the sand is kind of protecting them you might have to break that down you can you can still get the angle uh, oh just a little see, bit less very, power very close right and then he gets me oh it's too bad you try, you try. No, we play each other. Now. Oh, sick. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be so much fun, dude. There we go. Two players. Okay. We'll show it should be two players. Hey, cat. How about you not be there? No. Okay. So I'm going to do there. Do, uh, it goes from 50 to 70. Yeah, it's so great. And then 50 again. I love it so oh much. And then, and, that, you, and then you Boy, get hieroglyph yeah. every once in a while. <laughs> That's 60. 70. Oh my god. Don't worry, that happens as you get older. <laughs> oh, that was way too much power. Because the wind is... Oh, it's a gone. Oh, okay, oh 40. Waste of a shot. Let's try some more power. 
too much. It's hard to aim. Gotta master this wind. Oh, that's a oh. good one. That's pretty damn close. You might have got Oh, that. no. It's getting closer. Shots going short, that is. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Did you see that? That was so close. It was like above your head, man. Hey, Atari. Atari's just hanging out in the... God. Because the wind went down. Okay, so, like... No. I'm shooting no. a hieroglyph. <laughs> shooting a hieroglyph. Come on. Oh! That's so close. There's no wind now. Oh, now it's going the other way. Gotta amp it up just a little bit. A little bit more. I don't know how you can read this wind business. Ah! It's two, but blowing that way. So then I think we're good. Right? Ah! See? No. It's like a little bit. Yes. Good work, dude. Good work. Oh. I was so close each time. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get to go. Yeah. Why does the winner get to go first? That's that's right. That's not good. No. no. <laughs> that's that's. It's like playing pool with someone, right? It's yeah. Like they just they, now they just now, now my turn to break because I my reward for winning is I'll break. You're like oh. And then God. clean the board and then break. Break and, and clean the board. He, he. So I'm gonna go pretty high. I would, yeah, because but you know. not super powerful. We gotta we gotta both play that game though. Oof. Right. The wind is blowing that way pretty hard, so it makes it difficult for both of us to do it, especially you. Yeah, it's way too little of an arc. Actually, no, that was a good guess. You see that? Oh, I didn't. I missed it. I was looking at the cap. It was it was very <laughs> close actually. How about you stop? I mean, a good. Equipment. Come on, come on. Now the tanks can't move. Some. That's the fun part about it. You just you it's all angles, right? Yeah, this isn't a moving tank game. Um, so I need more power, much more power. Oh, it's not much more. Well, that's angle. An angle down a bit. Oh that's the God. opposite, man. So the angles on the Oops. left and the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm on the right. Killed myself. Oh, uh, yes. you did it for me. <laughs> oh God. Whoa. Rough. Okay. Uh, Big let's distance see. now. Forty-five. Uh, we're gonna do sixty because that's good, and then we're gonna do some serious power. We'll do like the sixty, seventy friends. We'll I mean, see this is just a four K game. I mean, they could have put in tank movement. They could have put in multiple dis. Like different types of weapons. The wind took it off. And you could buy weapons and do that whole mm. system. What was that game? Worm, it at least is the no, one. No worm. That I know. Yeah, but there's a one before that. Um, it was on DOS, and you could buy upgrades. And there's different like nuclear. Oh um, yeah, um, bombs. Just bombs and different stuff. types of bombs. Yeah, that's the, that's when these games get really cool, man. Yeah. When you got extra stuff and you shoot like a bomb that blows up like the entire side of a mountain. <laughs> yes. And then you got missiles and you have bullets and. Oh, good, good Ooh, angle. Oh, I think, no, I think... Good angle, yes. Yeah, the tanks do fall. We haven't seen one yet, but we got close uh, when you're playing the computer one Come time. Come on, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mine just disappears. I think it's because of where the wind is at. Mine just like, because I, 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 I did a good angle and it just like off the screen. Yeah. Whoa. I have to go higher angle and less yeah, power. I'm going to, I'm going to try. <clears throat> Come on. Come down. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. The I've wind's been, going the way wind's that. going like way. So higher. I, I got to, I got to find a way to angle. Like, Less power. That's rough, man. How am I supposed to do this? We'll figure it out, but goddamn, that's rough. Ooh, that's close. Okay, so I'm going to do quite the angle and quite the power, and we will see what happens. <laughs> well, might get better. The wind is pulling it down. It's not even on the screen. I don't know what. come up. <gasps> oh, dude. That's rough. A bit more power, really. That might have been full power, though. It says advanced. Oh, 99. So what do I got to do? I was... Um, uh, I think you can destroy yourself. I'm pretty sure you can. So last time I was... Um, I was pulled back. So I have to drop my angle a bit. I, let's see what this does. I 
think I might get it. That's quite the calculation, though. No, no. Oh, because the wind is totally different. Fuck. <clears throat> oh, still too much. Yeah, the wind is the randomizer in this, so you can't. I, I just... can't. I don't even know what the wind means. It's, <laughs> like I can't even read it because it's like random character eight. <laughs> I just have to try eight to this guess. way. Okay. Okay. Bam! Oh shit! That's a... oh. Okay. Damn it! The clouds are really nice. Nice shading. I'm trying. Gray on the bottom. Completely different now. Oh, just caught the front end of mine. Oh my nice god, job. Okay, that's rough. Okay. Of course you get. Oh no, it's random who oh, goes first. Oh, that's cool. That's very okay. cool. That's yeah, that works. You got a you got quite the the advantage. <laughs> no, no, no. We got we got quite the predicament. I think I think it's easier for It's about the same actually. Yeah. And not too much power. Oh, these hieroglyphs. <laughs> it's so great. They're terrible. <laughs> it's no, no, it just jumps from like 50 sometimes to Zero, like 80. 10, 20, 30, 50, 40, 50. 50. Okay, that's a real number there. <laughs> but I think I want like 40. <sighs> nope, okay, more. What are we at? 90 is completely up. Let's do like a 70. Yeah, this is like a strategic 50. combat. Let's try 70-50. Let's see how that feels, friends. 50? Mm. Yeah. Let's try a 70. The wind is blowing that way yeah. 7. It's quite hard. We'll try I wouldn't do we'll too try, high. We'll try a 70. Because I don't want to give you too many hints. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. Mm -mm. Oh, no, I need a bit more power. Yeah, you... Yeah. It's just, this is a crazy arc for us to, to try and do. Well, now it's easier, because you can actually hit me now with that yeah. arc, right? And what was, you what was hit I me at? too as 70, well. 70, 40. Let's try that out. I think that's a bit much. Yeah. A bit little. Oh, I always do the angle instead of power. Power is left and right. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. I think you need to okay, up the angle and down the power. Damn it! Oh. I never get to complete my <sighs> my turn. Whose is it? Oh God! To narrow it's, it's it down. me again. Jesus. Okay, I think a 60-70 might be good here. Let's let's see what that feels like. A 60-70. All a bit far, I think. I don't know. Yeah. So the wind's blowing that way. 60 so I'm gonna keep it at keep down the angle. Oh, look at that. Changes the second number when you change the first number. Rough. Yeah, it's it's a timing issue for when they change the graphics for the next number. Yeah. And there should be enough space, but I, I think they change it right at right before they draw it, rather than a little bit earlier. Anyway. Forty. It's blowing that way. Let's do that. Ooh. Uh, Whoa, wow, that's close. Very nice. Well, wait, yes. So I did the 60, 70. At Activision I think time. I'm going to do like 50, 60. It's not a glitch, but a programmer error. It might go away if we reset. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we will try that oh, after this God, game. I think. So I'm going to go down and power just. Damn it. That's not power. Oh, that's close. Yep. Isn't it? Ooh. Very good. Power cycle. Oh, so it's like... Uh, oh, my wind fucked me that time. Yeah. Oh, I need a bit more power. Come I gotta, learn, I gotta learn how to read this wind, man. Ooh, oh, just got you. Good work. Uh, I'm on the board again. <laughs> oh, and it's my turn. Yeah, you well. do. Oh, you don't have the advantage, though. Uh, no, I, I have don't. the advantage. I don't. I have to drop it down. You just um, hit an angle and power it, power it way up. I have to lob it. Yeah, I think that's like a, a like a little under forty five. I think this is. I think it's like a thirty five or a forty. We'll try a forty. Yeah, for your angle. Yeah, I think it's uh, all these numbers. I'll do in between. Off, I think thirty eight. I'll try thirty eight, and we'll see what 30. that does. 
Oh, you better get it. Yeah. You better get it. What are we at? So my guess is 38 and full power. and we'll Definitely see. full power. Oh, See, I need, close. needed to go under. But will you have that chance? No. Finally. That's good, man. Yes. Oh, the you... clouds change, show the wind direction, too. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, the, uh, Thomas is analyzing the code of the game. Damn. Oh, Thomas, thanks, dude. And he has confirmed that it's not my system. He, the programmer didn't didn't do it. Programmer forgot to clear VDEL P0. Um, I know that's P0, which is player zero, which is writing those codes, which is writing the numbers. Yeah. But I'm not sure what VDEL is. Ooh, don't know that code. Okay, so I have to lob it again. So I'm going down to zero. And what is this number? <laughs> zero... 10, 20, I'm gonna go 36. Good idea, see how that feels. Pretty good, just need a little bit more. Oh! Oh! You're dead, you're so dead. Oh! I just figured it out, it was Damn close, it's it so close. Okay, you're up though, this is now, now this is a different game. Be up. This, those those were uh, now we're back to normal games yeah now when it's that's i love that's why i love these kinds of games right is that as soon as you think you figured it out it's, it's like gone. these are the most i that's why i love playing them with my friends when we were like teenagers because you just um you'd think you were really good at it <sighs> and you and then you would like be the worst <laughs> yeah. like you could never like no one was ever able to like dominate because we played first person shooters and there was always somebody who was just like way better than everybody else mm. it was no fun but this is a cool game because it doesn't matter like how good you are at it no there's a random element enough i mean you have to be at certain level but definitely you, you get there by playing it enough vertical delay uh p0 is updated in sync with p1 okay i need to know more <laughs> about how to program so i need to go down in power up in angle yeah way i think more than that yeah it's not bad, Just though. a bit more power. I think the angle's good. 70, 30, 40, 40. Yeah, I don't know enough about vertical delay. We'll try this out and see how this feels. Oh, it's not, not good at all. I need a bit more angle on it. The wind is It's a rough one, though, because I can't, I can't really go much more of an angle than that because no. I'm going to hit the thing. Oh, that's a good Ooh. one. You might get it. Whoa. Whoa! So close, just, man. Okay, so what gonna, do I gotta you're do? You're gonna bite it the next time. I gotta angle a bit, and I gotta get a bit more power. The wind is going that way now. Really? Fuck me. Okay, well so, then. Maybe I'll... Uh, my last shot might actually be good now. That's to your advantage that the wind's going to the right now. Fuck! Oh, now it's going to the... It's still going to the it right. It wasn't a bad shot. I'm just it's gonna just hard. I'm gonna keep it the same. Smart. Yep. Oh! Now it... Got you on the other side. Which direction is it going now? Still to the right, only a tiny bit. It doesn't change much. Okay. Um, cool if you saw the barrel change. Oh, that would be good. And you could only, you only needed to add a couple more. Oh, this might be a good one, James. Of animation. No, not even close. Like you could it's have a hard angle. This one with you the could wind. have zero zero to um, zero to forty, like zero to thirty, and then thirty to fifty, and then a straight up one. But it's only 4K, so... The arcs that are this are harder because of the wind, right? The wind takes them. Oh, now it's not them. moving at all. The wind's... This might... Oh, damn it! Fuck me. Not even close. Or is it? No. Now it's moving that way. Crack a bit more power. Back off a bit. Strategy is a motherfucker in this game. Ooh, that's it! No, Whoa. so close. The precision I need is so difficult because the wind changes all the time. Whoa. Oh, oh now it's moving way fast. I have to back off. Dude, so close. Oh, not that much. Okay, the wind doesn't affect it too much. It's very precision. I think I'm putting too much power into how much the wind changes it. We well, go. I think that's... Oh, my oh God. My God. Fuck. 
It's like it's like the threshold is so narrow. It is. It, oh, these the, what's be, the for me at least the wind makes a bigger difference because I'm arcing so high, right? It's the only yeah. way to get. And see that one I dial back, and the wind has such an influence over it these. Seems to over these kinds of ones because when the reason why those <laughs> other ones were easy is because we had like a clear sight, right? Yes. Yeah. This so like one this is one is such an angle. I'm not gonna change. Fine. Dude, oh, perfect dead good on work. Shot. You were so close to me like all the time in that one. Yes, it was um, just within pixels on both oh sides. The wind was just altering it each time. So 45, 30, and... Going for it. Might as well. Okay, well that gives me, now I know my, my reference point. Yeah, so now I'm going to do a zero. I do a powerful zero though. Uh, not too, because I need to lob it a bit. Oh, that's right. I do I'm like a gonna... seventy or something. Yeah. See what that does. Oh, I do need to go up a bit. Not much, but up a little bit. Wow, my angle is. It's all about angle for me. Wow, so close. Getting closer. Still need to lob it. It's... There, fall. We saw fall. There That's cool. Okay, we got to now do it. Now you changed me where yeah. I am. Oh, God. That's cool, though, because that actually fucks you, right? Because yep. now you got to... I got to recalculate. You got to completely rethink about how you're doing this. I need more angle and less power <laughs> now. Oh, much less power. Oh, my God. I think I went up. Just drilling through the dirt. Yeah, man. Long, less slow power. and steady for me. Oh, you might have got it. Oh! Oh, off by a pixel. Yeah, you're just going through the dirt. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, I think that's yep. yours. Bam. Dead on. Yeah, my approach was not as intelligent as it could have been it's on that game one. Game point for me. Yeah, man. 45. It's your up, so you could get this. Bit. This could be you. Could be. I'm good about it. This is a tough one, though. This could go either way because... Yes, we're these, equal. Very These equal. are very... um. Uh, Yeah, way more power. Yeah. Ugh. Well, not, uh, not, not yeah. terrible. I only changed the power a bit. Oh boy. What? Gone. <laughs> See, that's what the, the rough that's but that's the wind for you, man. Yeah. The wind just carried it. Whoa, so Ooh. close. But see like. Ooh, good, oh, good shot. Maybe. I think I might be go too far. Nope. No, that's it, man. Good work. Game point. God damn. Okay, now we're going to re reset and see. I might have to reboot the whole system. So that's just resetting within the game. To try to fix the, the code issue? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Actually, you can do it. Hold it down. Got it. Sweet. Should I... What's this one incoming? Yeah. Okay, press button. No, it's exactly the same. Reset system. That's what Thrust said. Yeah, no, we'll try it once more. Oh, got it. But it didn't do it. it might be my system. What is it, incoming? Yeah. button no might be me cool might be me so great yeah great game oh lots of fun good especially two player oh so much fun two player but For even strategy. like even with the computer i could play games like this all day it's so much fun <laughs> um to try to beat the computer and slowly learn it and like i love that it's so different depending on the things and the wind makes it an extra challenge and yeah i think uh, if you wanted to improve this, I mean, it's done. The game's done. It's yeah. released. Um, if somebody wanted to make an even more advanced one, you could have slight amounts of tank movement, like left or right, if you yeah. wanted to move it once in a while. Um, different weapons that have bigger explosions or smaller explosions. Yeah. Because um, I've seen ones, like in the original one, oh, what is it? 
called? I played ones where you had limited, like everyone opens and has like two missiles, yes. like unlimited of like the bullets and yeah. has like, um, and then has like a, a, like a laser that's like just almost straight. Yes. And so those are fun because you, you can decide when to use which. So yeah. if you are like running behind, then you can just like blast missiles yep. and, or you can try to, you, and so me and my friends used to like try to do it with the bullets, but then if someone starts winning, someone starts using missiles, but then can waste them. So it adds this other level of tactic to it, which is always fun. There's also mount, <coughs> uh, mountain drilling, um, weapons yeah. where it'll take out a whole chunk of the mountain and then drop them down. So oh, you can just like tank some, or you through. can get rid of a, a blockage so you can have a, a clearer shot of it. Oh my god, I have to find out what the name of that original game that I played in yeah. DOS was. Because I don't remember which ones I played. They were all free, like, Flash games. Like, there used to be, like, um, like all the, the... I'm sure they're still there, but they used to be these Flash websites that would just have, like... Scorched Earth. Scorched That's Earth. That's what it was okay, called. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, and it was a, a DOS game, and it was had all those different weapons. Yeah. And, we got to get one of those for homebrew. I love this stuff. And the <laughs> yes. angles are fun because this is precise. I've never done anything like this. Because as I said, the ones I would always do would be you would aim the turret and it would almost be like a slingshot. Like you'd hold the button down and it would like yep. decide how much power you had and you'd let go. At, so if you held it down for the full length, you yep. would like get full power. That's a nice addition as well. And it's less precise, and it gives a bit more of randomness to it. Yeah, and it's more of a feel then, right? And it's yeah. a little less of a calculation. Same problem my system less, left over from Harmony Code, most likely work from cart. Interesting. Oh. oh, day and night. Yes, day and night. Day and night would be fun. Yes, and you just have a... Oh, it would flash when the other guy shot. Yeah. Like, you could see them only when they shoot. Of course, that would be a disadvantage for you, too, because you don't know where you are. Or little lightning strikes. Yeah, and you can... And it would see them for a second. That's cool. There you go. That's definitely cool. And, yeah. like, um... And those are simple additions. Like, hell super yeah. simple. Yeah. Because I love these kinds of games. They're so much fun. You can, and as I said, like, as soon as you think you're good at it, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as soon as you think you're not good at it, you can like start to nail some. And it's like I, I remember like my, we we could never figure out who was the best at these kinds of games because because <laughs> it's random every time. Yeah. Uh, was there one? Let's see, Tank Wars, as well as it was a DOS game. I think you can see there. Oh wow! Huge explosions. Oh yeah, with the arcs. Oh too. tracing. I love that it traces it. That makes it a little bit easier. It's harder in the Atari to do that. The tracing. Yeah, and it might be possible. And but... it's far from important. It's a cool little yeah. detail, though. Yeah. Um, but yes, really amazing games today. Wow! Uh, yeah, Space that was a great Spore. run, man. Um, Spaceman Spore, simple concept, great graphics, super addictive, great music. Yeah, very addictive. Sp it's one of those things you just. You, Another try, another try, another try. Um, short games. Uh, Spies in the Night, amazing. Oh, incredible. Really rich game. Lots of puzzles. The random puzzles. section would be really fun to sort of play. I'd yeah. like to... We should... When we do the... Um, uh, 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 we should try doing the 12 some 12-hour marathons? Ones. Yeah, and just yeah. see what that feels like. Yeah. Because the fun thing is, is then you check out the rooms and they go, be a, oh, go to the left, go to the right. right. No, I want to go to the and left. And there'd be a question mark and you wouldn't know. You'd hit it. You could be like, up could, five floors. We could sent be back sent back. Floor. This could be nothing. This could be like minus 15 points. It could be <laughs> plus 60, plus 30. It'd be truly random. It would be fun yeah. because the question mark would, would really be that. It'd be like a real question mark. Yeah. It'd be do a dice roll, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Luke. I wonder if... Luke, um, his, I wonder if he has an RNG element for um, the, which kind of room it is, too. I'd be curious to see that, because you could be on floor, like, oh, 99. You mean do difficulty? A, exactly. You could be on floor, like, 98, go to a laser room. Is it going to be Easier. a 98 laser room, or is it going to be a level oh, 1 laser room? You I know don't what I mean? think that would be a good idea. But I, do, I wonder if he has it. Like, I, I wonder, wonder... I wonder If it's, like, a graduated? Exactly. Yeah. If, if it's, like, you're going to always... Or if it's completely random. It's like, super hard right away. Yeah, it, it, it could, could be, be impossible. I'd, I'd just be curious to play it to see like what... I do have it. ...with the scale. Well, we'll do it. <laughs> but we'll do it time. later, yeah. When we have some time to do it. But that would be something I'd be curious about what yeah. that looks like. Um, Interesting. We should have asked him when he's here. Whatever. <laughs> he's gone now. 
But uh, yeah, we'll find that out. I mean, it'll, it looks like it's really close to being on cart. Yeah. So by the time we play it, it might be the cart version. That's sick. Yeah, that would be really No matter cool. what, that would be cool. The, it yeah. just depends on how random it is. Yeah. Because random is random, but there's always like, <laughs> there is some element to that, right? Is it skewed more yeah. towards one or the other? Like a graduated random or just pure random? Exactly. Because is it, the, is it you're rolling like a level one level or is you're rolling right. a one through 99 on every level? I, I bet it, it takes into account Where the at. level number and, like, multiplies it and it, must. it out that way. Like, level 1 through 10 is is random with a bias. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Then I'm, exactly that's the Azure. best. Azure. That's yep. the best option, then. I love it, it. It makes sense, because you wouldn't want to play the game if it's, like, oh, it's easy at the end and hard at the beginning. Like, that's weird. Yeah, right? it would be such a... That would be truly an RNG <laughs> game. That <laughs> would be, like, really, like... Throw in the mix. Almost yeah. be, like, those, what, those, like, roulette wheels with the ball. It would just be, yeah. like, tossing one of those. Whatever you get. And, like, we'll see. And uh, Luno... Zod, was it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Luno Cod. Um, great game. Wow, Super so high much action. Fun. Very hard. S the score element. Yeah, getting the... a perfect. Not too many games do that. Like, yeah. Oh, you did perfect. You get a bonus. What was cool that like I made it farther than James, but James yeah. got more points than me. Yeah. Right. So it's this interesting balance. I love that. I like that about the game that it's like you can push for high levels. Or you can push for high score. Yep. And ideally, both would happen, right? And that's where yes. you can get perfect games where you clear every level. Um, yeah, because you were just... just going for like the the lightning bolts, like just let's get to the yeah. end of the level. And I was going, let's clear yeah. it, let's get for points. Totally, yeah. and that's where you. Could, I would love to see like that's you know sometimes you see a game and you're like I'd love to see a speedrunner like how high they could get or how far they could go with it. Yeah. Because if someone was really skilled at that game, I'd be curious if they got perfect scores for how long they could when the scaling gets harsh. Yeah. Um, yeah, be a cool one to try to do because it's it, by his notes it said the radioactive stuff was shown on the bottom but I didn't see that No, it was all just dropping things and it was all solid and it should have been flashing yeah might be my system it'd be nice if we could grab if <laughs> we could knows? have lowered our radiation in some method that would um, be good we just... definitely would have been able to make it a bit farther I think yeah. and incoming great two player game oh so fun yeah, wonderful. Love, I love these kinds of games. Yeah, and, and also the calculation side of things too, and then the wind factor is fun. And yeah, oh, wonderful. I like playing against the um, computer a lot actually, just because it's like yeah. it's fun to to have to try to do it. Because it's almost a time limit when mm -hmm. you're playing against the computer. You have three shots. If, you if, better get it. it. This game reminds me a lot of playing chess. It feels like you're playing chess against a computer versus a human, right. where there is that it's all strategy, but. There is a human element where, like, you could, if you're playing a computer, it's like, at a certain point, they're just going to kill you. Yeah. But when you're playing a human, it's like, oh, well, you could fuck around for, like, ever, or someone could get lucky. And, you know, it's... it's, it's yeah, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to yeah. be, like, trial and error. Computer just knows. Yeah. And it that's, knows what the wind does. It knows what the angles are going to do. Yeah. And that's what happens when you play chess against a computer, is it has the capacity to destroy you always. <laughs> yes. So there's a certain a point where you're like, if you if you if you don't play right, you're just gonna die. So you, yeah, you, it's like ruthless. <laughs> it is very ruthless. Um, uh, so I think I only have a couple games on the schedule coming up on Friday. We're gonna be playing Warring Worms: The Worm Returns. Yeah, which is like uh, Tron Light Cycle, but with shooting. As Ooh, well. damn! So that's okay, that sounds cool. fun. Um, and on the first, which is way far away, it's Minor Twenty Forty Nine er, which is part of the Homebrew Tournament, which is round two. I destroyed in round one, but that's that time is over. <laughs> but that was a game that you were you were comfortable in, right? Very comfortable. This What's one? this one look like? This can be. This one's hard? a platformer. Um, where you have to like um, walk over all the platformers, all over the platforms to clear them. So you have to walk completely across all of them. There's enemies, and you have to jump over them, and you have hammers to destroy them. Do you remember the, 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 remember the crazy one that I had to try to do on the last one, which was like it was an old Vetrex game that had the like center and the circle, and it was like the the you were you were Star a, Castle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. That's a hard and I remember ass trying game. to trying to Star Castle it up and just oh being for the like, high score. Yeah. I die so badly on that game. Star Castle is so hard. We got S such we, a cool game though. I love that was yeah. one of the coolest ones I played. Oh, it's beautiful looking and that like is. it scales really beautifully and like. But I yeah. remember like I think you'll have a better shot with that than Star Castle. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Platformers are more my jam than um, thrusting type games. Oh yeah, yeah, much, much, much harder. Um, but that's on the first, so that's a little far away. Yeah, Star yeah, Castle. Arena. Yep. Yeah, man. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. You remember? Um, so I have to find a couple more games for next episode, which is on Friday coming up. And that'll be Darcy at 12 Pacific, 3 Eastern, and 8 p.m. GMT. Cool. How often in a month do you do Darcy? Is he is he every Friday or is it no kind of... every second Friday? So he's only twice twice a month. Okay, cool. Because he only he lives on the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes back to the mainland twice a month to do some business, right? And then and it... he co coincides it with the show. Why not? Yeah. It's a reason to come into town too, man. That's and then good. every other second Friday is Tanya. So she's on the show just as much as Darcy is, <laughs> but she lives here. And uh, Erlen is four times a month. That's right. I'm the, right. the most consistent, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's cool during the day, too. That rocks. It is. Because I just and, clear my Wednesdays. And yeah. Then... yeah. And you get it done at the beginning. So thanks, everybody, for coming by. Arena Foot, Azure 6502, Militant Buddhist. Yes. Thrust 26, Ice Boasted, Dan AVC. Uh, Mr. Fix. Uh, Jared Gray West. Jared Gray West. Somebody who awesome. uh, bounced out a there little bit a, earlier. Uh, Dan, as well. ABC, Dan ABC. Dan ABC. Yeah. That's what it was. Um, um, and I there think was those were the chat. There was a couple people I didn't recognize there at was. the top, right? There was like somebody named. I think they scrolled off, though. Oh no! Well, thank you for hanging out. I try was... and say their name when they pop up because if they're new people, yeah, yeah they're gone. Yeah, we can only go back so far. Yeah. But man, thanks, thanks you all for hanging out. This was a fun one. Yeah, and um, like I said at the top of the show, got like really good numbers on all the social media. So if you are, haven't already subscribed to um, the Twitch channel, if you're watching on YouTube, you can catch it live. If you was hey not Dan, you're still here. Oh, good. he's still here. He's thanks just for watching. hanging out till the end, man. I appreciate it. Oh, of course he is. He just commented. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. If you follow us on Twitch, follow us on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram. I haven't posted on Instagram in a while. I should. Because I took a picture of my um, yeah. repair job to my VCS. So I'll post that today or cool. tomorrow. Uh, it was Danny Mew. Ah, oh, thanks for remembering, Ground Trooper. Yes, that's it's, the name. It's yeah. hard to play the games and keep the thing going and memorize yeah. all the names. So he lot. bailed out earlier and he scrolled off the screen. Yeah, now. yeah. Um, yeah, Instagram. I Twitter just as a relay. I don't usually do Twitter yeah. too often. Maybe if I'm out on the road, I'll do it's Twitter. It's hard with uh, social media because you're expected to do everything. And some things, it sounds so to many. me like Facebook seems to be the one that fits nicely with the show. So. Yeah, because I can post pictures, I can post videos, I can link to things. And Instagram, you can't link to things. Yeah. It's its, its own thing. And you it's like if you're a... Pictures on Instagram. If you're a photographer, then Instagram oh, is the place. Or the place if you're like a comedian, well, then Twitter is the place because you can quote yep. jokes, right? Yeah, little quick jokes. So I guess for the show, Facebook seems to be the, the, the one that fits, but... Yes, and there's a lot of Facebook groups that are Perfect. video game groups. So I can post in there and link to those. And it just works really well for this kind of um show mr fix gave our give our score today excellent, excellent host excellent games excellent cats we got across the board Dude, we crushed it Dude, pixel was here for a bit we just yeah, didn't and want... atari as well yeah a little bit. and and yeah, pixel jumped up here but they were in and out and they were oh hey nathan there. strum was here oh yeah you were at the top of the show hey, as well nathan. not not much time to chat today but thanks for putting thanks for putting us in the background discord fits twitch best yeah, well, we've been using um, just the built-in chat yeah. in Twitch, and it, it works fine for us, because Discord is kind of a, an ongoing chat It's place. a step up? Cool. Yeah, it's a step up to this chat. There's a lot more to it. And you can uh, you can talk as well, voice chat as well oh, in, cool. in Discord. So if you're doing, like, um, multiplayer games, definitely you can do the talking over Discord. Oh, I believe that makes sense. Yeah, I know a lot of the streamers I watch for the games I like. They, yeah. they there's nothing in the game that's suited for that, so they do a lot of stuff. There's so many add-ons. <laughs> and militant Buddhist abhors Discord. As a militant Buddhist <laughs> should. <laughs> exactly. That's that's how it, it that's, fits together. That's right. Discord can post pictures. Wow. Yeah, they can do a lot of stuff. It's like wow. a, it's an ongoing kind of discussion. Uh, with Discord. Thanks, so I'm learning something today. That's crazy. Yeah, I've I've played with Discord here and there a couple of years ago, but uh, uh, this is great for us. It's it's I can post it over top and 
it's built in so it's easy for noobs to come in and and just type something yeah and, and get get their thing on the screen right away yeah rather than team speak them. that's the other one. Ah, oh, cool that's that's for multiplayers as well so uh we are out of here thanks everybody for tuning in once again and thank you on youtube if you're watching it later absolutely try and catch us live on twitch i know maybe the timing might not work right for you so youtube might be better for you guys but we'll be back on friday at noon uh pacific time 3 p.m eastern and 8 7 8 8 p.m. GMT. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Yes, we'll be back next Wednesday <laughs> for more great Atari 2600 goodness. Yeah, man. Who knows what it'll be? Ooh, New games, TBA. old games, marathon game, oh. trying to beat something. Who knows? Anyway, we're out of here. Thanks again. Bye-bye.